Sorry, kid, this is not a game for you. Okay, I'll play something else. This is a game for hot grannies. Decarnation is a psychological... Hello. Shake, thanks for the five gift subs. Thanks. Look, this is a game for us adults. Shank's trying to encourage that. <laughs> Decarnation is a psychological horror game with a mature subject matter and imagery. It is not suitable for young audiences. Player discretion is advised. Okay, cool. I'm so ready. There's no mods or anything yet because this game just came out today. So there's no mods to um, uh, censor anything. So uh, I'm praying YouTube, my future YouTube video <laughs> doesn't get demonetized. Unless I hate the game and I don't put it on YouTube. We're going in blinds. Wish me luck. Don't get me banned. Oh, maybe there's like a streamer settings. I can delete my save. Okay, there's no... All right, Decarnation, Unrated Edition. <laughs> Red Band trailer. What are all zingers we need? <gasps> Paris. Oh, man, we're already naked. Okay, we're in Paris, 1980-something. Oh, he's just sculpting us. Petrus, you're 29, right? Right! Oh, uh, look at us! We thought it was gonna start really suggestive and bad, but we're just being sculpted. Little Nemo, thank you for the two gift subs! <laughs> it was so quick just to, like, start with a butt already. What if this game's just constant... debate? I just wanted to say, I'm really excited to be here to experience this. Don't move. Let's just say we were lucky. Lucky? That I found you with time in your cabaret. <gasps> cabaret. Before everything falls apart. Falls apart? I were, if we're in France, then we're naked all the time, right? The other day I came across the first girl to pose for me. We weren't even 20 at that time. Ah, Fanette. As bright as the sun. A bot of Shelly come to life, you know? And now, look what's left. A decrepit troll in a clown's makeup. What? I'd like to take a break. Covered in cheap trinkets, clutching a little dog to divert the eye. Beef, thanks for the gifts, so please don't ban me, Twitch. It's official now. Yeah, we should be safe now. It makes me sick. Also, I can't hear my alerts. Act one. The dancer. I'm sorry, so is this Petrus or whatever? Four months later, Gloria's apartment. Oh, we're definitely getting broken into and mur getting murdered. That was a woman's naked butt. <laughs> Shank. <laughs> Hi, Muffin. Oh, is this song... What if the song was secretly DMCA? Does that mean the game? That's my character. My morning face sure is the worst. It looks fine. Yes, who is it? Seriously? It's Joy. Who the fuck is Joy? Joy first, shower second. That's my shower. Okay. Well, hello, Cupcake. Oh, it's my girlfriend! Nervous? Think it'll be crowded? Joy, I didn't get off work until 2 in the morning. Go easy on me with the questions, okay? That was one question. Gloria and Joy. Aww. Oops, sorry. 
But yeah, I'm slightly anxious. Mostly curious to see what it looks like. Well, I imagine a statue of you will look... Like you, probably. What's that supposed to mean? She, she sounds just like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? What will it say about me? What will people see in her? And will it make college girls weak in the knees? I don't know why I bother. Sure you do. Come on, get ready so we can go. I'll wait outside. Wait, I have to shower. You're going to wait out. This game is starting way too happy <laughs> to continue being happy. Oh god, something bad's gonna happen to Joy. And it's gonna make Gloria go down this horrible path. <laughs> Alter. <laughs> I've done that before. I did that before on, um... When we were watching 90 Day, I was like, was this so intense? Going over the top of the happy stuff? Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, I too go over to my friend's house before they shower and then wait outside for 30 minutes. It's telling me keyboard controls, but I'm using a controller. Damn, we're a babe. Oh, she kind of looks like Nev Campbell, which is funny because people say I look like Nev Campbell, which I, I still don't see or anything, but it's just Kyra say, yeah. Anyway, she's looking good. All right, Nev, let's go. Damn. Oh, I almost forgot the little blue box for Joy. I see it. Come here, you. Is that, my are we proposing to Joy? Is that a ring? Oh, I don't look like Nev, but thank you. This is gonna end so bad. Oh my god! And I make her wait in the hallway. Creepy, the shining floor. What'd she say? Sure. Oh, it's happening too fast. Sure. What did I agree to? Wait. I'm just leaving with the music all loud. Ah, oh, it's a baby. I think some people have kids on purpose. Yeah, yeah. You get the good with the bad. Every time I see her cradling the, cradling the baby, she looks content, fulfilled. She's got to make a good show of it, keep her spirits up. Otherwise, she'd never make it through 20 years of cleaning up after it. Damn, Joy's a bit cynical. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. Kira, it's smelly Kira, everyone. 20 minutes also the shining floor outside the apartment. Yeah, what's with the shining floor everywhere, right? Wee. Oh, well, I take I take it it's this one cuz of the bib on the welcome mat. This guy moved in the building a year ago, super creepy. They say he was an orchestra conductor who just quit for some reason. Okay, so that guy's creepy. <laughs> Sorry, I gagged. <laughs> a sweet old lady lives here. All the residents on this floor call her Gran. She must be so lonely. Her kids never visit. I rub it in. Okay, so tea lady. Tea, tea lady, granny, creepy conductor. Ugh, these two. I can hear them fighting for my apartment at least three times a week. Maybe she shouldn't have let him move in with her. But but they have a heart on their welcome mat that clearly they're in love. Now the baby. By the time she's my age, her kid will be in primary school. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Think they'll have champagne? At 10 in the morning? Grand's the killer. I'd stick my reputation on it. Hey, the title card! Decarnation! Okay, so we already have bets that Grand's the killer. We don't even know if there is a killer, but... Alter stick staking his reputation on it. And we know how good his reputation is now. Can you imagine a statue of me between Toulouse Lautrec and Giuliani? I don't know French. 
No pressure, huh? I know Toulouse, though. Relax, Mona Gloria. It's gonna be stunning. Toulouse is... To Toulouse is one of the cats and... Aristocats, right? Calling out the statue who's the killer. <laughs> Ten in the morning. Nestle Toulouse. Hello, woman. Hello. One adult and one student. Well, actually, I'm the model for the Petrus statue. Maybe he's left a note. My name is Gloria. Congratulations, Gloria. But there's no such note here. Oh, <gasps> really? Oh, I thought that maybe... All I have are tickets, adults and students. Are you for real? She posed naked for that guy for three straight days. She's a famous dancer, you know. Just let us in. Absolutely, after you've paid. You have glee pots? Yeah, what, what a bastard. Like, we're the subject. We don't even have tickets and a plus one. Oh, the sculptor, Kronos? I haven't, I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, whoever your famous dancer friend chooses to expose herself to is none of my concern. You? It's okay, Joy. This one's on me. It's not okay, Gloria. That or artist jerk didn't even pay you for your time. The least he could have done was buy the tickets. Here. I mean, how expensive are they? <laughs> and these are for you and your passionate friend. Enjoy your visit. the fuck pair models and like at least give them a ticket all right let's snoop fine arts magazine september 1989 petrus feeding on the female form what it's not her fault joy gloria you'd let a slug roll over you oh damn that's supposed to be my girlfriend my girlfriend's not very supportive. <laughs> well, I mean, she's trying to stand up for us, okay? But it was, she, yeah, that was pretty harsh. Mostly colored dots, fruit baskets, and women clothing optional. Oh. Oh, and this one's a famous piece of pop art. A big ravioli can or something. Oh, and this one's a famous piece of pop art. Wait, what is it re repeating? That line repeated. That was weird. Maybe it was intentional. Museum 7 or 11. Yeah, but it's like, it's like a statue exhibit in 1989 in Italy. So I don't know how much these could be. Look, that guy looks like <laughs> that guy on the left. <laughs> Wait, what is she saying? I'm fine with that. I don't like that the text moves automatically. Is there a text not moving automatically option? No. What'd she say? He must have had a good time last night. Could be a black swan customer. Take it from an expert. This is total bullshit. Oh, this kind of sounds like Heaven's Night. Oh, 89, five dollars. <laughs> Modeling and not getting paid is crazy. Right. Okay, this is so cool though. With like, the audio getting louder if you're closer to it, like the static of the TV. I noticed that when we went through the baby, or the uh, past the baby's room in the hallway, it's violent, but kind of sexy too, in a way. What? Oh, she's looking at the paintings. No, Kira, not yet. Oh, this is supposed to be a kid? All these disturbing images, they seem like they're simulating something deep inside this kid. <laughs> okay. Why don't I talk to this kid and see what he thinks? John Everett Melies, Ophelia, 1852. A woman immersed in a pond. If she's not dead, she's got me fooled. Francis Bacon, study for a crucifixion, 1944. What a gruesome creature, like some kind of blind beast.
Seriously, this music's very Heaven's Night sounding to me. I'm loving the vibe of this game so far. I know it's like nothing's happened, but... Blah, 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 transformative hermeneutics. What? Why is art talk always so pretentious? Yeah, for real. The last line reads, we came for the impressionists, disappointed. Oh, it's a guest book? How about freaking modeled for the statue, didn't even get my own free ticket? Put that in the guest book. The rise of abstraction marked the fall of art. What? Looks like my tax law professor. What a psycho. He seems fine. Jean Honoré Fragonard? The Lock, 1777. A man and a woman, a red curtain and a heavy door. Something murky emanates from this painting. A red rose. It looks way too pretty to be real. David Keith Lynch, Bob loves Sally until she is blue in the face. You're unknown. Is the blue for boredom, depression, or asphyxia? Oh, God. Modern art in a nutshell. It's the worst. When an art museum with some friends drunk like 10 years ago was a total dick about making comments like that constantly at your best moment. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, you think they're trying to do a David Lynch thing here? Just, just David Lynch? I mean, there's, there's a Bob in Twin Peaks. Hans Belmer, the doll, 1965. I don't think that's Robbie the Rabbit. Two pairs of hips and two vulvae with the big round belly in the middle. Ew. Hard to say if that's a critique of society or the artist's fantasy. Maybe both. Because isn't that, like, what art is to a lot of people? Like, expression of yourself? And sometimes it's, like, you're expressing society that way, too? Why does it have to be one or the other, Gloria? Don't be so single-minded. <laughs> Takato Yamamoto, Nightmare, You're Unknown. A skeleton in a Komodo, caressing a woman. You can't tell by her face whether she's frightened or not. I wish I could see these. Like, it's, it's kind of cool just getting, like, the pixel and the description. But I'm like, I don't know if like all these are real. Like, is are these, is this one real? <laughs> is David Lynch's Bob painting real? <laughs> these are real. Yeah, what does this one look like? I'm gonna look it up. Okay, hold on. Wait, you found the David Keith Lynch one? Okay, that that actually that's that's cool how they made that pixeled. Here, this is That's this one. Right here. Like, even the lines onto the side. Okay, but what about... Hold on, I have to tap out every time. How about this one? Takato Yamamoto night Nightmare. I'm looking it up. Takato Yamamoto Nightmare. Oh, this one's pretty. Hold on, I'm getting it. Wait, you're unknown? How old is this? Oh my god, I'm like I'm pacing and not in OBS in the game. So that's this one. That's really pretty though, look. It's definitely a skeleton in a kimono caressing a woman. Yeah, see, I've I like the other art. When you Google the name, you get a bunch of art that looks like that. So I would totally get that painting for my house. Because these, I feel like I know what they are. Could be an album cover. <laughs> Looks like it's like a, 
OST cover. That, like, that's what I was thinking. I guess my fancy brawn self should be just in here. Here, hold that thought one second. Okay, I guess my fancy brawn self should be just in here. There's only three sculptures. August Rodin, is it Rodin? I don't know, head of the Tragic Muse, 1891. This one is mesmerizing. I can't tell if her eyes are open, closed, or just gone. Raoul Hausman, The Spirit of Our Time, 1920. Wooden head impassive with a door and mechanical odds and ends. So the statue's moving. They said they were inspired by Satoshi Kon and David Lynch for this. Nice. Oh, it's a shadow. Oh, it's caressing her. <laughs> Here she is, bronzed glory and all her glory. That's weird. Wait, what? Ew, who's this creep? Ew. He, I. Here, did make the music for this game. Oh, nice. It's even better. No wonder it sounds like Heaven's Night. <laughs> Uh, there's a- Oh, really? <laughs> Joy, there's a pervert in the statue room. In your opinion, is this one or two women's bodies? It's for my stats on naked women in museums. <laughs> it depends on what you consider to be a relative value of a minge versus a mug. You know, I'm not surprised to hear you say that. Joy! <laughs> Gloria? I like the animation on that. I I think I'd like to go now. What? Already? Let me check out your statue first. Don't bother. She's not that interesting. Doesn't have much tit to speak of either. Old man! This isn't about you anymore. Let's go. I want to see what happens. What does she say? I, I can't. Okay. I just want to see what she was going to say going back up there. Where are the guards? Well, they can't even afford to pay her entry ticket. You think they can pay for guards, probably? Probably not. Okay. All right, let's go, Joy. Leaving so soon? Was the statue really that bad? Gloria, please. Seriously, what's going on with you? It's nothing. I just want to get out of here. What, your statue? Forget the statue. The real thing is standing right here. You were so excited to see it. Now you're just going to run away? That makes no sense. Just leave it. I want to do something, I don't know, something fun. Hold on, did I miss something? No, no, I just got a little worked up and... No, I don't know if that was a sculptor. He had different hair. So unless he had like a, a fake beard when he was doing the sculpting. Jesus mentioned the creep. I kind of wish she would. I, I think, honestly, it's like she's probably too embarrassed to bring it up, but I don't know. Joy seems supportive. Uh, although maybe she's afraid to tell Joy because she's going to go beat up the creep and cause more problems, like physically assaulting a man in a museum. Look, let's do something fun this after two, afternoon, you and me. Maybe go shopping or I don't know. We can just chill at my place, watch a movie. Not today, Glow. What? I've got to keep grinding away at this thesis paper. But I'll come see you tonight at the Swan. What's? Sure, stop by my dressing room before the show. Oh, because she's a dancer, right? Cool. Catch you later, Glow. Wait, why? Catch you later. What? A cupcake. <laughs> well, now Joy's being weird. Can we at least mention the creep to her? Like, she's not going to do anything either, though. Okay, now we're in a pool. Someone communicate. Whoa, she's just sitting on here with her leather jacket on? 
That's the problem with you. What is going on? Everything has to be so complicated with you. I just want us to have a good time. What is this? Sooner or later, you bring it all down. Is she a ghost? I don't know, it told me to go up and down. Hush, kiddo, get back to your books. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Why is she telling... Is Joy, like, not alive? And is haunting Gloria? Black Swan Cabaret, 9.30. That was like her conscious? Yeah, maybe just in the form of joy. Ladies and gents, for this evening final performance, the Black Swan humbly presents for your pleasure. The mesmerizing, the mysterious and magnificent, Lady Gloria. Oh, it's Rhythm Game! <laughs> Aww. They're throwing money at her. <laughs> Getting naked. It's like better the score the more naked you get. <laughs> knock knock. You missed the show. Okay, hold on. Elite gaming. Was the creep like a fan of her dancing spawn this statue? Yeah, maybe, but there, there's like other people that are mentioning the swan. Yeah, it, it, it's, I don't think I'm gonna get DMCA'd on anything here, don't worry. Anime slice of life opening, but French. You missed the show, Joy. Hello. Thanks, Koozie Live, for the Prime Gaming sub. Thanks. This is this a horror game? It is. Sorry, I got caught up in catching up. How'd it go? The audience was thrilled, as usual. I kind of needed that after this morning. The museum? Yeah, that hag at the counter was a total cunt. Oh! No, I mean you, Joy. You were being so... distant. Okay! Joy was only being distant at the end there because Gloria wasn't talking. Because she saw that creep fondling the statue. And she didn't say anything. So I don't think Gloria is allowed to say Joy was being distant. Okay. Ooh, we're being so judgmental in the relationship now. Let's go. <laughs> Distant? You're the one who decided to split and wouldn't say why. That's true. I asked you to spend the afternoon with me. I told you I have a thesis to finish and it's important. Sure, your thesis. That's what it was. I thought you were supposed to be the mature one. What's with the tantrum? Ooh. Tantrum? You're the baby here, not me. Aren't you supposed to be 29, Gloria? Why are, you, why are you acting like this? I don't know why I said that. It was stupid. Thanks, Gloria. Stupid, but kind of funny. Damn, Joy, I... Yeah. I have something for you. Is it the ring? What is it? Go on, it won't bite. 
Wait, what's this key? Oh, it's a key to apartment. It's to my apartment, so you can come and go as you please. Aww. Wow, uh, this is a bit of a surprise. I hope you use it. I hope you feel about me the way I feel. Ah, Gloria, you're still here. Look how sleazy he looks. That's perfect. How excited. <laughs> hey. How's it going, Mr. Director? What's this? Why are you here? Because class let out a few hours ago. And don't you have a home to go to? Okay, roger that. I'm out of here. I thought, aren't we going home together? Look, I'm beat, and I've still got tons of work to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Promise. Glorious Gloria, you sure lived up to your name tonight. Thanks, Aldo. Such energy and the precision of your every move. What's going on, Aldo? When you start with the compliments, I know it means something's up. What? No, not at all. Ha. Huh. Good, so... Well... I thought we could have a little check-in. Uh-oh. A chat about this past year and the next. <gasps> Are we getting fired? He's got... He's, he's has, like, like, pervy director vibes, for sure. Sleazy P. Martinez. <laughs> It'll be your 10th with the swan. Can we leave it for another day? Right now, I just want to put my pants on and go home. Of course, Gloria, of course. There's no rush. Thanks, Aldo. Wait, what are they implying? Actually, let's do it tomorrow afternoon. Get it out of the way. Sure thing, boss. Like, are we renegotiating or am I getting fired because it's been 10 years? Uh-oh. Okay, we're back into my creepy ass hallway. Baby's not crying anymore. What do you miss? These women are women. <laughs> Floor is that from the shining? Yo, we keep calling it the shining floor. Okay, Joy left flower. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's not from Joy. Oh my god, that's gonna be from the creep for sure. Huh, not even a car. It doesn't seem like Joy anyway, because it's definitely not from Joy. Probably another regular from the cabaret again. Wait. That's, that's e even worse. The fact that she's being so casual about somebody she doesn't even know dropping something off at her house. Knowing her address, and she's like okay with it. Gloria, fucking wake up. That's so creepy. Oh, just another stalker again. Well, why is it so loud? What is this? Gloria's dream diary. <laughs> this would be a cool idea, but now it's just where I write my grocery list. Why is my phone screaming? Miss Gloria? Yeah, who is it? I'm calling you on behalf of Mr. St. Louis. St. Louis? Or Louis? I guess this is French. St. Louis group? Precisely. My name is Lor Laurent Carnot. Our president, Hervé St. Louis, would be very pleased to make your acquaintance. It's 1989. Oh, you're toasting your dev. Hey, nice. Yeah, the game's really cool so far. Your president wants to meet me? He's seen your performance more than once. Mr. St. Louis is surely your most enthusiastic admirer and a rather significant patron of the arts. Painting, arts, architecture, urban arts, and of course, dancing. Have you received the flowers he sent you? Oh, that was from him. Yes, I have. They're right here in all their splendor. Perfect. When would you be available to meet Mr. St. Louis? 
St. Louis. Hey, Beef, thanks for the gift sub to Toasty Senpai. Is it toast? To like toasty? Toasty. Not toasty. I'm so stupid. <laughs> uh, they, That's kind of him, but I already have a boss. You think this is a scam? I think this is a scam too, but I'm, I'm thinking our boss is going to let us go or something. A pretty greedy one for sure, but I'm happy at the black swan. I'm sorry if I haven't been quite clear. It isn't simply a job that's being offered. It's a whole new step in your career as an artist. You'll have the opportunity to create your own show to your liking. You'll have a significant budget and complete creative freedom. Oh. This is kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, French mode before the end of the game. Yeah, wish me luck, chat. I think this is a scam too, because yeah, she's just like, she headlines this dance thing, and they're just trying to give her, like, everything with complete creative freedom. She's not that good of a dancer, guys. <laughs> Isn't that every artist's dream? We'll have a showing in Paris, of course, as well as several European capitals, then New York, Los Angeles, and Tokyo. I've always dreamed of going to New York. Strolling along Broadway, seeing the Statue of Liberty. When would you be available for a more in-depth discussion with Mr. St. Louis? Yeah, New York sucks. She doesn't know. We're sparing her from New York. Miss DeBoss Day. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it'll be possible. I'm sorry. I'm not the artist your boss imagines. Thank you anyway for considering me. Good night. Wait, Gloria! I- Mr. St. Louis! We just want to help you. At least take my number if you change your mind. I'm at your disposal. That's pretty, um, desperate. All right, if it'll keep you from getting into trouble with your boss, I'll take your number. And thank him for the flowers. They were a wonderful surprise. Oh, someone's breaking in. Joy. I may have rushed into giving her a copy of my keys. All right, I'll just leave her alone for two or three days. No calls, nothing. Detach. <laughs> Mr. St. Louis. Why me? It's not like I'm some outstanding ballerina or edgy underground artist. Sorry, my lord, but I'll pass. Aldo. I'm packing the crowds in his place. I should get a raise. 30% Aldo, or I'm out of here. <laughs> that sounds good. 30, ask for half. That guy in the gallery. <laughs> Why was I so scared of him? I should have grabbed him by the balls and dragged him away from my pedestal, kicking and screaming. Mom? I hope the weather will be nice enough to sit outside. Are we talking about mom? And I hope she won't pester me about all the marriage and career nonsense. 30 years old soon. Oh no, end of the world. It's gonna be so cool. They'll call me ma'am all the time. Oh no, she's into it! And ask me why I haven't got kids. Oh, that's not fun. My statue. Is she happy in her exhibition chamber? If I could, I'd install her a lovely glade far from Paris. Groceries. <laughs> I need to go shopping tomorrow, definitely. This is so relatable, like trying to go to sleep and you have like all of these random ass thoughts. And one of them is just like, oh, I'll be 30 soon. <laughs> Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and a tiramisu. I've earned it. Hell yeah. What time is it? Joy. Mr. St. Louis. Yeah, the, the mind do be bringing up awkward dumb shit. Where's the one nightmare you have from when you were like nine years old? And like you did something really embarrassing when you were nine, but it still haunts you. But it doesn't matter because you're nine. Everyone did embarrassing shit when they were nine. All right, nightmares. Whoa. A 
puppet, joy. Woman taken by a force. Oh, they have different meanings now. The disincarnation of a woman. Yeah, because I guess that woman's a captive, prone body. So she's just, she's seeing, oh my God, this is so cool. So she's seeing these paintings with like more of like a direct negative connotation to women. Like, oh, it's the artsy version. It's like, here's what we really mean. Drowning princess. Ravenous mouth. Mud. <laughs> it's mud. Tragic fate. Puppet head. Our statue. Look, and there's the artist. The master. Petrus, Woman's Flesh, 1989. I can't believe I used to be proud of this. Disgusting. I mean, I don't know. Having a statue of yourself is pretty cool. Ooh! So I'm swag man right now, but like in a good way. Oh shit, she's actually yelling. Are we good? God, I like the... It's just a yell button. It was several yell buttons. Is this... Okay, we're yelling, we're yelling for our fears to go away. Chair. Just yell at the chair. No! I hit it! I don't know how... Oh my god, it's like zooming in. I don't know how uh, close you have to be, but I guess not that close. Too late! You don't think so. Can you like hold it? No. Is that flowers? Is it okay? No, God! Can't get it. Oh, God, he's in it! I was just trying to read the painting. Here, this kid is still watching TV. Let's say we were lucky. I like how even in her nightmares, he's watching TV. <gasps> Joy! Joy! So much matter. So much flesh. to grab before everything falls apart. No. I can't understand a word of it. How to make your loved ones really paying attention. That's the topic of tonight's special. <laughs> Just yell at the TV. I know he's here. I feel like he's just gonna pop up again.
Okay, let's leave a review in the guest book. This place freaking the floors keep falling. This place sucks. Oh, it's her list. Her her list of shop her groceries list. Her, I, I'm so dumb. I'm like her list of shopping, her grocery list. <laughs> oh god, got him. Go go go. Joy. Gloria, there you are. I've been looking for you. Listen, I need to tell you something. Back there in the room, a guy abused me. What? What did he do to you? This is probably all like suppressed stuff. No, you don't get it. Not to me, to my statue. But it was the same, Joy. I swear it was the same. Exactly the same. Oh. I see. Typical Gloria, always making a bigger deal out of everything than she needs to. <gasps> Dream Joy is not very understanding. And it shouldn't matter so much to you. Considering the job you do. The job I do? She's a dancer. God, that eyeball got us. So, Gloria? Your statue? Are you happy? She's, uh, true to life. You must be delighted then. I'll go see it when it's less crowded. It's a weird feeling. How so? Well, it's like... Like... Never mind. Forget it. No. Oh. <laughs> It's not me. <laughs> I must admit, I was surprised you'd agree to pose. You never listened to me, so I haven't said anything but mom. A statue highlights the sculptor, not the model. Everybody remembers Rodan, but not the poor man he forced to spend hours with his chin on his fist. And while your sculptor gets all the glory, you're wasting your youth and your potential in that sordid cabaret. <gasps> Mom! I'm not that guy with the newspaper. See, everybody <laughs> remembers the sculptor, not the model. Gloria, darling, you are a dancer. Your body is your livelihood. You work hard to maintain it, but... Well, you know what I mean. I remember what it's like. Yeah, yeah. If you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble, and sooner than you think. What makes you think that I don't take care of my career? Why, is there some sort of news, darling? Yeah, there is. There's a new project, an artistic one. So I'm like so aggressive to mom. Another statue? No, not at all. An international show, one where I'm in control. Well, isn't that something? And with what money, exactly? Money from the St. Louis Foundation. The St. Louis Foundation? Like the St. Louis group? Precisely. Hervé St. Louis is a rather significant patron of the arts and my most enthusiastic admirer. You should have seen the flower agent he sent me. So this is not a dream. So this is like the next day and she's talking to mom. Is it because she dreamed of mom? So she's just like, oh, I wonder what mom's up to. But like, I feel like she's being very, um, like trusting. Like, she's still, like, listening. I mean, it could still be a dream. We don't know yet. But, like, she's she's talking about this as if it's fine. And we're all over here like, Lady, no, it's a scam. She's doing all the horror movie things. It was massive. And where did he approach you? By the exit of your cabaret one evening? Of course not. I met him at a cocktail party. Wait, we... Okay. Okay. Gloria, it may not happen often, but I have to say I'm impressed. We're considering about a world tour, Tokyo, New York. Hervé trusts me completely. 
And you look like, even mom. I should call his assistant back, by the way. As soon as possible. Black Swan Cabaret, 7 p.m. Okay, so we're dancing again. Oh shit, who's that? Whoa! Damn, look at her! Aldo, you're doing auditions? You didn't tell me. Is this what the tenure thing's gonna be about? Oh no, we're getting fired. Hey, Gloria, didn't Stephanie fill you in? You didn't ask me to, sir. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here. Should I ask the candidate to stop for a minute? I don't want to get replaced. No, we've got to... No, we've got to see so many others. There's no time. You wanted to talk to me? Listen, Gloria. You're our most experienced dancer here and the hardest working one. And therefore I get a raise? Oh, look at that smile on her face. No. Ha, huh, funny. That's not the point right now. Gloria, I want you to become the Black Swan's head coach. Wait. Okay, that's, that's, being a coach is steady, but that's also kind of like an insult to dancers. Cause it's just like, you don't get to, like every, everyone ends up being a teacher in their profession, right? This is, oof, that's gonna sting. All right, I'm not ready for Gloria's reaction. The what now? <laughs> Let me explain. You're old. <laughs> Next year, we're moving up from five to eight or maybe even 10 dancers. The new ones, heck, even the current ones need some training. They look cute on stage, but their technique, let's just say they haven't exactly come straight out of Norives. So I thought about you. You can manage them, train them. Aldo, training dancers is a massive workload. Adding that to my own dance practice? I don't think it's possible. Oh no, she, does, she doesn't get it. Not adding to Gloria, replacing. Wait, what do you mean? Well, there's no need to kill yourself on stage if you're the head coach full time, is there? You've earned a little rest and security, Gloria. I don't want to be benched. I want to stay on stage, Aldo. This is my life. Next year and the year after that and... Gloria. The fucking curtain just fell. <laughs> One second. I'm not even 30, Aldo. Better even, you'll be a hip head coach who is close to her dancers. You'll get the hang of managing others pretty quickly, you'll see. Aldo. Now, now. You're all right. I'm begging you. When you've had some time to think about it. Aldo, don't do this to me. You'll thank me, you know. How are we gonna tell Joy? Joy's gonna beat up Aldo. Home girl on stage putting in work. She's been doing the same dance move for like 10 minutes, okay? Boring. New moment. It's a new game. So is the baby still crying? <gasps> Joy! Sorry for showing up unannounced. Oh my god, and Joy's, Joy's gonna break up with us too. Just watch. No! <laughs> Hi, Joy. No, I'm glad you did. Why didn't you wait inside? Don't you have the key I gave you? I do. No, she's gonna be like, listen, you gave me a key. We're, we're moving too fast. I can't accept this. It's all falling apart. You haven't even opened the, you. She said, oh, she doesn't open the box. It's not just about the key, Gloria, listen. Go for it. I've been listening a lot lately. It's about us. You're everything anyone could ever ask for, and you'll be somebody's, someone's perfect partner someday. Frankly, I had a great time with you these last three months. But here we are, heading for more. More than just a good time, and I don't see that for myself. Oh my god, Joy, get over yourself! 
I understand. So please, take back the box, the key. It was lovely of you. You have every right to be angry at me or sad. That'd be normal and expected. Angry? Me? What could I possibly be angry about? Look at her face. All of this, me ending our relationship. How could I be angry at you? I have no right. Oh, It's a relief, actually. We're so different. I would never have led you anywhere. It would never. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, go on. I'm sure you have classes to prepare for. Take care, Gloria. Look, that's such a fake smile. She's gonna go in that apartment and just be, like, really angry. Because, like, she's had a shit day in general. Like, Joy didn't hit her. Like, she's gonna chuck it. Chuck it! Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, she... <laughs> Everything's fine! Oh. Oh, this is so cool. She's like going in her little dress with the moves. I don't even know where the thing is. Oh, I'm failing. I think I'm failing like I'm forced to. Oh, we're melting. Yep. And so her her smile, basically her, her smile melts it off and now she's miserable. This is so cool. I love this. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Leon. Thank you for 36 months. Happy three years. You came just in time for this cool ass game. Yeah, it seemed like a scripted loss. <laughs> just just like real life. All right, so we're calling the the people. The H Herve. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Good evening. It's Gloria DeBest. Gloria, a pleasure to hear from you. How are you doing? Miserable. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I'd like to accept Mr. St. Louis proposal i mean harvey yeah her mascara is running like her eyes are beady too it's kind of like like there's that painting that that sculptor that you see in the museum that's just like you can't tell if its eyes are open closed or just gone and that's like that's like that they're paralleling that the show the tour everything he wants from me i accept hello Yes, my apologies. That's such wonderful news. A surprise, to be sure. Very well, Gloria. We will need to speed things along. I'll have to send her money. She needs a win. She does. I, I feel so attached to Gloria. <laughs> I'll book a meeting with Master St. Louis. Let me check his agenda. Tomorrow morning, 7.30, at the park in the b below... I don't know, baloney woods? <laughs> like baloney woods at 7 30 in the morning okay that is really early that's also that's also they're like oh let me check this really famous and successful guy's busy schedule oh immediately tomorrow morning like first fucking time slot so come on gloria wake up like in the woods <laughs> yes Master St. Louis loves the tranquility of the place at dawn. Will that be a problem for you? Not at all. It's perfect. You're gonna need directions. Listen carefully. Oh god, I need a pen. At the end of the main alley? There's an alley, there's a path on the right which cuts through the woods. Oh. Damn, look at her. Oh my gosh, she is so ready for this. Wait. Oh, this is so cool. We're like playing the directions. Take that path. Walk down so you reach the lake. Oh my god, this is amazing. With a smooth-ass transition. Sus agency wanting to hire her. Yes, because basically she she's she lost her job of being a dancer. 
uh, with the opportunity to be a coach instead. So she lost that. She lost her relationship that she didn't even really seem to care about all that much anyway. So as she's she's like going to the only remaining opportunity she has. And yeah, he like knows where she lives and stuff. Great place to meet your murderer and agents. <laughs> Mr. St. Louis will be there. Look, this place is abandoned. There's broken chairs shit. Yeah, her, her statue is being molested. D Gloria's not having a good time right now. Anyone who gives you directions without an address plans to remember you. <laughs> and it's like a freaking in the woods. Uh, many artists have painted or sung about that place. Look, this pl Go home, Gloria! I've no doubt you'll feel right at home, Miss Secretary. Mr. St. Louis? Oh! That's a mannequin! Are we getting- Are we getting sniped? There was no St. Louis. <laughs> Act two, the captive. Oh no. I don't think this is gonna be really fun. Oh no. Okay, who's surprised? Not me. Never go in the woods. Gosh, she was so excited too. Look how pretty she was dressed. Oh God, the animations right now. Where, where? That was creepy. Welcome to your new home, Gloria. Your meal will be ready soon. Who are you supposed to be, Mr. St. Louis? I am the maestro of this great house. What? I didn't order anything. Where am I? Okay, at least her mascara is not uh, smeared anymore. I like the music. Can you guys hear it okay? I haven't really asked if the game's vo game volume is okay, but is it? I didn't order anything. Where am I? Don't be afraid. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Dinner will be served shortly. It's quiet. Okay. Yeah, I want it to be loud enough. What house? Hey you, where the hell am I? Bye beef. Yeah, the only thing is like, cause the music right now is I think is like intentionally quiet, but I want y'all to be able to hear it. Cause this game does get really loud as we saw earlier. Oh my God, it's getting really hot in my room. <laughs> hey you, where the hell am I? I need to use your phone. Yeah, I didn't know Akira Yamoka worked on the soundtrack. Yeah, I'll play a story for Street Fighter 6 on stream. Who could have predicted such events? Not me. Yeah, the heat's pulling the comeback. So, good to know around this time is when it gets really fucking hot. It's also because, like, my the blinds fell. So the heat's penetrating through the blinds. Hey, I need to make a phone call. Gloria still doesn't really get it. I said I need to make a call. Oh my, oh dear, I'm so sorry. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why, who the hell are you? I'm just me, Bob, Hubble servant of this great house. What, wait. We both do as the master says, trust me. It'll all be okay. Wait a minute. I know you. The creep from the museum. Oh, that was him? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, you were at the museum that morning. I shudder to think how that must have looked. But I had to do it. Otherwise, they never would have been accurate. What? Accurate? The measurements. The master gave me this measuring tape to take the statue's measurements. Oh. For the clothes. Fit for a princess. Oh. <laughs> the way she's walking. Oh my god. Things are always better when we do, as he says. I don't need a personal shopper. Let me out. I'm so sorry. Look, I understand. Starting a new life can be disorienting. But this is real. The master brought you here, and we're going to take care of you. Master, measurements, do start. No. No, no. You're kidding, right? Or am I seeing things? Gloria, wake up! I have meetings and, and a show. My audience needs me. I have to go now. Or I'll miss curtain call. It can't be. So she, I mean, she's probably still in shock, which maybe she's not understanding that she's like very clearly kidnapped. But I feel like if I was in this situation, I would know right away. Be like, I can't escape. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Phase one denial hits people pretty hard, but I don't know. I feel like in situations like this, you just skip right over that. Whoa, it looks different now. So that guy was just trying to measure the sculptures to make clothes because they already planned to kidnap her. Who would have drawn these? Looks like a kid did it. Yo, for like a split second, it like showed through the window. You're the one who brought me here? What? Gate's gone. Now just a bleak staircase to an unlikely exit. Oh, I thought that was a ladder. I remember, I was so shy at that age. And there was that sketchy music teacher who was always creeping me out. Okay, so I guess we're going into her, um, her childhood? That's always fun. Love childhood trauma. <laughs> the bed brought her here? I, I don't know. Well, I, may, I, I assume because she's having a nightmare, so the bed is like her segue to a nightmare, you know? Maybe. I don't know. That's what I imagine. Dirty memories. Early morning is the time for regretting late night decisions. Themes of loss and self and human trafficking. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa! The little rat. The swan? The crowd is gathering, of course. They're waiting for me. Black swan. The black swan at the top heads. Should I use it for dancers? Oh. I mean, that's the name of it, too. Yeah, Ohio is France now, apparently. Okay. Yeah, because this, this was her show, and the audience is waiting for her. Is is that like monster black hole thing? Like a, a, a critic, kind of? Ah! <laughs> I try to yell to see what happens, but... Uh. <laughs> okay, so if you die, something really bad happens. Maybe they don't recognize you without my stage makeup. <laughs> okay. Went through the house buying process last year. Hassle and a half can confirm. Yeah, it's so annoing. Like they want things to be so particular. So I want you to tell me that in the first place. Oh 
god. Look, it's my little shrine. Fake eyelashes and too much lipstick. They just eat that up. That one on the left reminds me of the one of the covers for the boys <laughs> of um, Homelander's mouth being huge. This game is about Gloria having the worst fucking day possible. <laughs> Reinversion in the mouth of madness to real sincerity. I wouldn't say it's a direct version of that, but it's also cool. So the spotlight looks all red and lava y. Spotlight can't work its magic without darkness. Not exactly feeling comfortable here. How do I get backstage? God, I love the animations. That's me and all my glory, more or less. Oh, it's Aldo. And is that his assistant? They're both pretty dead. See, Aldo, sometimes the show has to stop so that more important things can go on. <laughs> that was cool. So, so we want to reach the spotlight? Or... Like, does he, is he weak to this? Because he's just a dumb shadow? Hi, Clay, there's 39 months. You look at the cool game. go oh I see fresh meat or old wax the important thing is what's underneath what the hell how many years has it been since my last show Aldo always had champagne to spare, but we had to buy our own makeup for the shows. What? Aldo sounds like a sham. Sham director. A few mismatched dresses. We're the only birds that get to choose our feathers. Yo, Zara. Yeah, it's great. So why do they need to unionize? Oh, uh, the staircase is twisted in more ways than one. God, they can't even get proper stairs. Oh, fucking showbiz directors. Yeah, like teachers having to pay out of their pocket for simple supplies. It's fucked up. Oh. Most you're big on backseating here. <laughs> Could you tell from my first chat? For my first chatter uh, message thing? Oh, should I have a field day with this place? 
I'm so sorry. Look, I understand. Starting a new life can be disorienting. Oh, this is like a test to, to be... To say who, uh... Who said these things? Um, that was Servant. Glorious Gloria, you sure lived up to your name tonight. That was Aldo. If you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble and sooner than you think. I don't remember. Mom, maybe? <laughs> was Victoria, right? You're 29, right? That was Petrus, I think, when he was doing the sculpt. I thought you were supposed to be the mature one. What's with the tantrum? Okay, that was Joy. Okay, so mom was the one that said that one. Oh, there's a second one if you don't know the first one. Glory may not happen often, but I have to say that I'm impressed. That was definitely mom. That was a cool puzzle. Yeah, yeah, it was pop quiz. How, how well have you been paying attention to the characters? She's booking it. Uh. Door is closed and won't open like that. Okay. This lock is like the one we used for the magic show last year. Maybe I can pick it. I just need to find something sharp enough. Hey, we... I guess we woke up and now we're in the actual room. The music's hitting again. None of these clothes are getting me out of this. Basic toiletries, there has to be something here. Maybe I could pretend to drown, but what then? Doesn't she have like a hair clip or something? Shitting in a room. My sleep point sex dungeon. Well, this is like her room where it's cozy. The sex dungeon's not till down the hall. Obviously. This glass eye. They can't be watching every single minute, can they? Yeah, it's not her apartment. This is she she's being held hostage. <laughs> More stuff, plastic pants, drab colors, and not a speck of dust. Everything's lined up perfectly. Prisoner, not hostage. Eh. Yeah, is there a difference for her right now? Some kind of fake window. I guess this is the view of New York I'd always dreamed of. This is really sad. Do I need like find like a lockpick or something? But there's nothing? Hi, I'm excuse me. Hello. I need to leave. Hey, is anyone there? <laughs> excuse me, I'm tired of being your hostage. Oh, you're not gonna open up? Gotta break out. Fine, I'll do it myself. What are you gonna do? Kick it? Can we, like, won't be able to find a way down these pipes? Wait, are they expecting me to find a lockpick? I don't know what else to look at. Aha! I can do wonders with a nail file. I guess the nail file was under the toilet paper. Let's do this. Yo, mini game? I could almost, damn, it won't go deep enough. I need something thinner and sharper. Time to look around more. But I already did. <laughs> yeah, she did get kidnapped. She, 
She got li lied to, well, tricked, <laughs> sort of, into having a meeting with these um, these people that could uh, further her career. And they're like, we'll meet you in the in the woods. And then they lured her into these woods and I guess basically sniped her with something. Um, and then, God, one second. And then uh, she woke up in this dungeon. Yeah, she, and it was at like 7.30 in the morning or something. Chaba, no, it's not me. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like me. Once I've picked the lock, I'll take this broomstick with me as a weapon. Look, she already has plans. What if the hangers, damn, nothing like they did it on purpose. Too bad I can't escape that way. The little chain from the tap, nah, useless. Hmm, I haven't checked the trash can yet. And... A smelly void. Oh, maybe the, th the, the thing that's hanging on the, the painting? Lots of stuff, but none of it's useful, like set dressings. Well, I can't interact with the painting anymore. Some help. You are a typical mannequin. Wait, don't mannequins have pins? I mean, it looks like someone stuck a hairpin in your shoulder. Hey, I think I need that more than you do. You don't have any hair, and I need it for my great escape. Time to break out my inner Houdini. Fuse a broom to the broom like Link. <laughs> no, fuse the toilet with to the broom, and then it's just a big hammer. Luckily, I didn't tell Aldo about this patronage opportunity. Tomorrow I'll be back at the swan like nothing happened. I would... You don't want to, like, report this? Should I tell anyone about these freaks locking me in this room? Yes! Crazy stuff if Joy finds out. Hmm. She'll definitely call me back. I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Oh, Bob! I'm afraid you can't open a lock like that with a hairpin. What you're doing only works in the movies. Er... By the way, do you recognize it, Gloria? The hairpin? It's the same as the ones you used after you'd go swimming. Oh, he knows? We paid attention to every detail. How do you like your new bed? Lovely, right? Like something out of a fairy tale. Oh, it moved. Oh, it's a white swan. Oh, they have it in black, but the white one looks more joyful. Don't say joy to me. I'm sorry you don't yet feel at home. But pointlessly twisting a a tin hairpin and a steel lock won't change that. Get some rest. You'll feel better tomorrow. <laughs> I don't wanna. Oh, hey, we're all, it, this, That's our actual room. Was it a dream? Oh, what a weird dream. Where did that come from? Okay. What day is it? Oh man, Joy's gonna be here soon. I've gotta get the, the, oh, there's no blue box. Where'd I put it? Nightstand maybe? It's not in here. My bag. Would've made sense, but it's not in here. Our empty ass drawers. Do you not have clothes? Neither in these drawers either. She's gonna be here to pick me up any minute. I need to find it now. Fuck, where'd I put it? Fridge. No, I'm not that crazy. 
am I going to do if I can't find it? What's not going to matter? What a nightmare. Bathroom. In the bathroom, maybe? Nope. Damn it. Of course, the TV stand. Nope, keep looking, Gloria. Oh god. Crap, uh, coming. <laughs> Looks like I've missed my chance. Ah, she just let herself in. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely, I just need two more minutes. So that's a no, Gloria. I can just go alone. No, I'm ready, honestly. How about you? Do you need anything before we go? Anything I can do for you? Anything? <laughs> can we just go? I'm a little stressed out. How about a bite to eat? Food always helps with stress. I've eaten already, but thanks. Joy, why are you being mean? Yo, fight. Yo, dark tyrant. I love these animations too, yeah. Like simple things like her lurking, lurking, looking at the TV stand was cool. Actually, I'll just use the bathroom real quick. At least have a glass of milk. A nice tall glass of cold milk, why? Let me get it for you. Mom used to give me one when I was stressed. It's the least I could do. very least. Why is this so weird? The least, but not the most, Joy. I would do a lot of things for you. <laughs> Anything, actually. You know that, right? She's drunk on milk, <laughs> right? We're just weirdly walking with our milk. I bet you we're gonna- Joy's not even in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, it's the creeper! Well, this is cozy. Bob! It's so intimate in here. So delicate. It's good of you, too. Let me in. We didn't know. Damn it, I was hoping that was a dream. I well that was a dream. But I was hoping yeah, this this kidnapping part was the dream. But it's not. Could this be real? Are these people serious? Okay, it's finally sitting in for her. Putting someone in a creepy bedroom and paying a butler to feed them? I can't wait to see their faces when the police find this place. Sarak. <laughs> Feel free food. So, do you like it? Gratin Dauphinois <laughs> was a staple at home. My mom used to serve it on Sunday nights. I don't care about you and your upbringing, Bob. She taught me how to cook it. Although she put a lot of cream in it. I don't use as much. Gotta watch that figure, right? Okay, listen. We need to talk about this. Talk about what? The situation. Me in this cage. 
What do you think's going to happen here exactly? Because I won't dance for you. I won't play nice or be a good girl. Doesn't matter if you starve me, bully me, beat me. I won't do it. Or I won't do what you or your boss tell me to. And the longer you keep me here, the worse it will get for you. Every policeman in the country must be looking for me right now. It's a matter of days, maybe hours, before they find your place. You just looked up what that meant. Is it what is what is it like made of? Is it potatoes or something? Do you not put cream in it? <laughs> oh, it's potatoes. Oh, gratin. Oh, I see. This is not my neighbor. I mean, it could be. It, it could be like the the neighbor, but we like we're in an apartment. Could be the janitor. No, it's as far as we know, it's um, it's like a it's a fake dancing or management talent agency company, whatever you want to call it. And my mother. You think your boss is tough? You've never seen my mother when she gets pissed. And believe me, kidnapping your daughter will piss her right off. So here's the deal. By the time I finish eating this lovely gratin, I want this door open and a cab waiting for me outside. It's as simple as that. I, I'm sorry, I don't have the key. That's okay, go grab it. I haven't finished eating anyway. That can't happen. I'm so sorry, Gloria. It's grand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did call it earlier. <laughs> the master keeps that key with him at all times. Bob, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure you're risking more jail time than you can handle. I can't let you get that key. Or I can't get you that key. And even if I could, I wouldn't. The master would punish me for disobeying him. It would be really bad. Well, get the key and come with me then. Or come with me then. I deserve to be punished. He'd be free. He would never hurt you again. Gloria. I don't need to be freed. This is my home. I like it here. The master takes good care of me. And he trusts me. I kind of feel like he's also the master. He, he's like refer- like or He has like split personality or something. Bob, I'm begging you. Maybe you should give him a chance. Like in Split? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you might be surprised by how happy he can make you. I have to go now. Goodbye, Gloria. No, wait! I hope that soon you can be happy here. Just like I am. Please, Bob, stay! Please. I just want to be free. Oh, Master's talking. Freedom, freedom is what I'm offering. Out there, you were trapped, drowning in an ocean of fear and uncertainty. In here, you have the opportunity to elevate yourself and to be treated with the kindness and attention you deserve. Please, just let me go. Don't worry, Gloria. Someday you'll understand. Look, he's making food. Good morning, Gloria. I hope you had a beautiful dreams. What's that smell? I was sure you'd recognize it. The soothing scent and sound of fluffy pancakes cooking in the pan. Look at the batter from the bowl just like dripping on the sides. It's, it's getting everywhere. Come on, Bob. Have a seat. Please. F 
flowers. Oh! I know it's a little weird. But I'm honored to take care of you, Gloria. Whoa! I think you're a sweet and kind person, and so am I. <laughs> Anyone who says that is not a kind person. Chocolate sauce on top? Sure, I guess. Of course, who could refuse? Maybe he's drinking it! Hey, save some for us. Damn, dude. It's a personal recipe. Pinches of gratitude and goodwill. And lots of happiness. Whoa! See, Bob's having a great time. Oh, what did he just do? <laughs> Good boy. Aw, oh, don't worry guys, this is the dream. Good morning, Gloria. Oh wait, looks like you had a bad dream. Looks like I'm in a bad dream. Who's to say we don't choose our own interpretation? Sometimes all you need is a change of perspective. Cut the spiritual bullshit stalker. I'm not up for it. Yet. But looking inward can be as rewarding as looking out. Oh, he's a fortune cookie speaker. Man, his voice is really starting to grate on me. In this room. Sick of it. Hello, hello. Hey, Bob. Oh, throw it back at him. It won't do you any good not to eat. Screw you too. I don't have to do anything you say. Of course you don't. I'm so sorry. I'd really hoped you'd like my grandmother's meatball recipe. <gasps> Gran! Though I suppose they're a bit overcooked. I'm so sorry. Are you crazy? Do you expect me to just sit here and talk about food? <laughs> the jig is up. Let me out right now. I wish I could. I really do. But I don't have that kind of power. I'll do my best with the cooking, however. No more overcooked meatballs, I promise. That's not the problem here, Bob! Sorry, I have to go. Master schedule, scheduled fitting is about to begin. Bondigus station. Let me out of here, you asshole! Yeah, no one can resist Granny. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. Oh god, what is this? You can't just keep me here forever. I'll make you pay. I swear I'll make you pay. I can't read French. I'm just winging it. Do you think we're going to make him pay? Oh, she's still sitting here. Who's that? Oh, joy. We're dreaming of joy. Look at that. Everyone's favorite victim on her knees yet again. <gasps> so is this how she sees? How she sees joy, really? One digger station was good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shake! This is the gift of Tatanberry. I did, Kairos. Project your own feelings through joy. Or maybe that's just like like that that is a possibility, but I kind of I, I kind of feel like she's using how she 
perceive Joy to say that to her. Like, there's a reason it's not, like, her mom saying this to her. Like, there's a reason it's Joy. Because maybe, like, she didn't feel good enough for Joy or something like that. Same voices. Yeah, didn't they say that, like, a week ago? Anyway. Do you remember the first time we met Gloria? It's close to midnight. The subway train is half full. And this creep is really crowding me. Suddenly he pushes me against the wall. He's gonna hurt me and nobody's batting an eyelash. What, Joy? Nobody but you. You step in, push him back. Damn, good for Gloria. And whisper, it would be better for you if you took off, pal. Oh my God, Gloria's a badass. Ha ha ha, such a tough lady. You turned out to be a fraud, but back then, I was in awe. Yeah, I was gonna say, that doesn't really seem like Gloria. Just from like the little we know of her. <laughs> nice, Mark. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Yeah, let's go, Gloria! Oh, shit! <laughs> Obviously, something of a dream, but still. Whoa! We're free, let's go! Oh, she's wearing her, her nightie again. Okay, this is definitely a dream. I wonder if it's even possible to bring this thing back to life. What even is that? Or how do you open this? Door? Looks like there's a pile of bones in there. It smells like tea? Huh. I think it's all just like allegories for things. Like, I don't think she literally went through this. Like, and she's remembering it. Oh, God. Are these two bundles in the corners of the room dogs? No, not the puppies. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Why leave? We have everything a woman like you needs. The hell does that mean? Look, it's like a, it's our statue, but not gold. It smells weird and acidic in there. Oh God. Okay, so that's bitch. Okay, so these are, oh God. So these, all right, so I have to move them in their chest pieces, but do I have to move them? Like, wait, what are these? Oh God. This ominous heraldy is made of an eye, a hand, and a cube. The three different colors. But which is which? But like which is which is considered the hand the Is that considered eye because his eyes bleeding? Oh, this is weird, because, like, I can't just, I can't just, like, step on it. Hold on. Let's take the horse. Oh, this is a restart. Okay, so I guess it's not those symbols. What is this? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, that's what I was talking to. Oh god! I was reading the sign! <laughs> so that thing happens automatically. I like I'm not pressing anything for it to like go there. It's just wherever she happens to be standing if it applies. So is the eye the horse then? Are you like I I don't know what they are. Is is Bishop I killed by reading? I know <laughs> stuck in the thing. Maybe Bishop. Well, yeah. I mean, Bishop. Bishop can be I. Not both of them. Bishop, here, get back here. Feel more. It's really cool. Just like the story. Oh, it, it dings if it's the right one. Okay, so that one's the right one. Oh, stop. Oh my god, like... <laughs> the, the fucking horse. Here, I think I might need to get... Yeah, because that one can't move. Jesus, I'm... Oh my god. So the the tower should here. How do I restart? Oh, it was square. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so tower is the square. Bishop's probably. I'm guessing it might be the eye. Here, let's move the tower out of the way. Oh wait, um, no, stop, okay. Yay, okay, well it made the sound effect. I just need to get tower out of the way. <laughs> this is hard because it's I'm uh, accidentally moving two of them. Yeah, I, I don't want him here, but I, I just I need I just I, I need I need <laughs> I need to figure out a way for it to easily go to the hand. Damn it! Stupid bishop! Can I move bishop? Oh my god. Here. You go over there. Jesus! <laughs> this, is, this is hard to not, like... make them hit the same thing. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're good. Okay. Now tower. Cool. Now tower can get out of the way. No, no, no. Aw, oh, shit. Stupid fucking tower. Okay, so this... Go here. Yay! I did it. Yeah, the the hardest part was just 
trying to, to not be on the same square that both of them reach. So I'm like, oh God, that was cool. The ominous heraldry, heraldry is made of an eye. Oh, so it's not something we talk to anymore. Oh, I see. All of that painting. Yeah, like when one spot had all three of them moving, I'm like, well. There's a dog with a human face. Good boy sleeping peacefully, unaware of his master's crimes. Aquarium filled with leeches. They aren't moving. The dish says Bob. I guess she's a, a, assuming, like she's, her subconscious is treating Bob like he's just the master's dog. I, I don't recognize that face. It's a worm face, I don't know. Desk of fine wood and cold marble. There's a locked drawer underneath. This giant door should lead to the master's private apartments. It's locked for now. There's a small door here. How does it open? Hmm, something's under the carpet. A key! For this door? Right, this key is too small for that lock. This little key is too small for this door. It has to open something else. I guess it's the drawer. The key fits nicely. There's a fine silver of sliver of raw flesh in the drawer. I'll take it with me. I guess we give it to dog. Hey, Bob. Rather not wake him up. He could start barking. Then what the fuck are we doing with the flesh? Leeches. Leeches are feasting. Fresh meat brought those monsters back to life. Ew, all oh, the sound they're making. Yo, brave. Portrait seems more vivid than earlier. Yeah? Can we stand on it for a little bit? Like, is it getting faster or is it just me? Oh, I'm a here! I mean, something to do with this, but... Oh! Okay. Okay, the key doesn't open that. That's a relief. No, I want to see what's in that room. Bye-bye, doggy. I need to go back home. It was a pleasure meeting you. He's right here. Oliver, you want to see this creepy game? Oh! Out for good! Okay, so now we're in water. Oliver, you're haggard. Get yourself a brush! Get yourself a brush. And brush yourself. General Haggard, reporting for duty. Oh, my sweet little boy. 
How am I gonna leave this place? <laughs> Her animations. I guess we better start swimming, right? Looks like the bridge stops here. He's a fuzzy boy. Whoa. Something about the post being small. Lucky for me. Yeah! Bounce is a dancer's life. Let's go! Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Whoa, that is a leap and a half, lady! Did I fail? Nice. Perfect. At least balance is one thing nobody can ever take away from me. Girl, that's so true. This reminds me a lot of something in Bloodborne, like a new Yarnum or old Yarnum. New. <laughs> Hello? I could drown. That would fix everything. Blood burn. Very bloodborne. It's just like the layout, right? Because like, I swear, like this, this bridge layout is like 100% bloodborne. Even with like the creepy enemies, there's something twirling over there. Looks like he's wearing a Leon coat. So young, so talented, sinking to the bottom. Bergenworth. Oh, that was that the bugs later, right? Why him? He's a Pomeranian. You're a little Pomeranian. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, I tricked him and kissed his nose. It needs to be spotless. Clean room is a clean mind. Shine of a trash bag, stench like the depths of a drain. Oh, it's coming from the statue's mouth. Like, is it, like, spewing, like, it, for words garbage? <laughs> words garbage! This guy looks ashamed. Never seen a statue look so embarrassed. I know, right? Look at him! Oh, <laughs> <gasps> It's Granny! Oh my god. Ah, there you are, Gloria. We've been expecting you. How do you know my name? Just to guess, you look like a Gloria. <laughs> they have the same hair. I'm betting that's also Gloria. Yeah, it's just an old Gloria. What does it mean, though? What does it mean? Weird. Like, well, they even have the same nightgown color, sort of. Yeah, that's her at 30. <laughs> nice, Alter. I mean, you could just, you know... You want to play things a little earlier? I'll already stop. Wait, did you say you've been waiting for me? Who are you anyway? Don't you know? How would I? I just met you. Did you? I don't have time for this. Oh, are you in a hurry to be somewhere? Yeah, actually, I'm trying to get home and I really don't have time to talk. Home, what a beautiful concept. Especially when the bathroom is equipped with a rain shower, and the bed has clean silk sheets. Are you homeless? Is that how I appear to you? Oh no, I don't judge people on their looks, but... Bench sitters around here are usually tourists, so or vagrants. You don't really seem like a tourist to me. You're right, I don't have a home. But I don't need one, because I have something bigger. A penthouse? Haha, <laughs> something better. Take a deep breath and look up. Don't do it. The sky blue smiles above the roof. It's tenderest. A green tree rears above the roof. Oh, I said green and <laughs> Oliver looked up. It's waving crest. Yeah, they're on the same page! Wow. I learned that poem in middle school. I'm amazed that you know it as well. Who could have imagined? 
Do you want to stay a while with me on that bench? Watching the sky and breathing. I, I appreciate the invitation, but I had a difficult night. I'm tired, hungry, and I stink like a moldy basement. So I'm gonna go home, take a shower, and sleep forever. Green? I understand, Gloria. It's part of your journey. You can't skip any steps, even if the path is a spiral. But don't worry, Gray Braid. <laughs> I'll keep breathing, I promise. Gray Braid? Girl, aren't you almost 30? You probably shouldn't be making fun of people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's nothing wrong with being 30. However, the way the way 30 plus year olds are treated in this game, that's how you'd say, uh, you'd think she'd be like reacting to it. However, 40, I'm just kidding. Out of her. <laughs> just remember, if you need any help, you know where to find me. And don't forget to make some room in your chest. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Room in her chest. No, I have to talk to Grey Braid. Take care, Grey Braid. You too, Gloria. Maybe if I just wait, it will open up. It's not like I'm gonna be here forever. I like the sounds they make. Make some room in my chest? What the heck does that mean? Do you ever look out on the horizon and wonder? Would things be different if I wasn't so stubborn? My age is starting. I'm not being ageist. <laughs> society. We live in a society where Hollywood is ageist. Okay, I'm just perpetuating that for fun. Because in like every RPG, if you're like over 19 years old, you're a geezer. We live. In, I basically what I'm saying is we live in a society. Like, this girl's 30. <laughs> Ooh, basically on her deathbed. What's that? Estrella Street. One foot in the grave, really. Turquoise. I've thrown a coin and made a wish. I don't think it'll come true. The Dancer, 1789. She looks audacious and free. Even in the jaws. <gasps> I wish she said sagacious, like, <laughs> sorry for. Um. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, baby. Even in the jaws of the beast. I'm playing this on Steam. I don't know what else it's on. I think it's also on PS4 and consoles and stuff, I believe. Could have been in the St. Louis group, no one would have been able to compete with me. Oh, PC and Switch? Okay. There there you go. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I like I said, I just I'm playing on Steam. I I did like no research on this game because I thought it looked cool. I was gonna play it. And that was like all the research I needed. But that's cool, it's on Switch also. I'll have to buy it on both. Stab it. Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and a tiramisu. Oh, that's her, her list of shopping. <laughs> I should have picked up the groceries. So these are all, I was thinking they're all like others, other thoughts as well. But I guess it's just her. Why did I say that it was a relief? Why didn't I fight to win her back? Yeah, thank, seriously, enjoy, enjoy leaving. She's like, oh, that's a relief. We could have grown old together. Oh. You had to read all that stuff now. Nah. You can't read things in a video game. Switch, we're waiting for Nintendo to push a big patch to solve his problems in Switch. I see, I see. 
I have dreams of my trauma sometimes when something like this would be horrifying. Yeah, for real. And especially, like, having, like, a lucid enough dream to feel like you're living in it. Oh, when you play, but I'm gonna watch it on Twitch. Well, that's why I'm reading out loud. I just want to read more things. What else we got? Toasty, I want to say how I love the audio design. Like, when you get really close to an object, that's when it makes it sounds. Like the squelching. And then when you walk away, you don't hear it. I think that's so cool. I noticed it right away, like, when you're in the hallway with the baby. Or the, the baby's, like, crying through the door. And then, like, it, it, it keeps happening with other audio. It's like, oh my god, they do it. <clears throat> Proximity audio, but for horror sound effects. Yeah, that's great. Oof. Hello, Otto. Hello, Otto. Sound designer programmers and also three sound effects. Yeah, it's great. Ah, uh, Paris will always be Paris. The Cell, a new drama by Orson Bergman. Paris. Yeah, like, this guy's just sweeping. It's a loud sweep. Is that my face on this journal? This is your first game? Oh, shit! Yeah, it's cool that you got him at all. And for a first game. I feel like... I feel like he'd have... Because, like, Akira's very, you know, like, he's, he's really well-known, so, like, he must have so much trust in you guys and, like, faith for working on, like, a first game. That's so cool. Congrats. Congrats on everything, on getting Akira, just making the game. It's actually really, really good. Damn, can't find the latest Cosmopolitan. That's what she's worried about. Boston old veteran of Ubisoft. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm. Also work the Bluebird. Yeah, but Bluebird has made games for like 10 years. No troll there. Yeah, there's this theme uh, page for everyone. Books about Haasmanian architecture and existentialist philosophy. I like the bright pink or purple void poster at the bottom. Or hold on. I want to like actually read stuff. I find the the little things. Interesting. La Ness. Never heard about this club. <sighs> Bonjour. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, eat your greens, mommy used to say. Was he going to try to read all that French? It's life. It'll pass. These are urns. Like for ashes or spices. Hi, Neotone. Thanks for 59 months. How's it going? Yeah, uh, Slitterhead. It's coming out eventually. It's in development. Garage. 
being very distant cousin to Portuguese. Yeah, I, I don't know any, like, legitimately. Like, you know, it's like basic phrases like bonjour and stuff, but like... You ask me to say any sentence in French, I'll never be able to. Uh, 68 Beaumarcus Boulevard. <laughs> I made it! Woo! <laughs> Yo-Yo Crocs. It is! Are the garbage collectors on strike or something? Okay, wait, so, wait, is... is would that be pronounced Chad Chad Joe Est GDL? <laughs> Bo Bo Marche. <laughs> oh, Bo Marche. I told you I don't know French. What are you yelling at me for? I'll fucking ban you. Here, I'm gonna freaking type out some Romanian, ask you guys to pronounce it, and then put it on Twitch, and then laugh at you when you get it wrong. Look at these people not knowing how to say basic Romanian words. Let's laugh at them. Cause they all, oh, cause they don't speak Romanian. <laughs> keys, fuck. I don't have my keys. Hello? Who's there? Cage. Head. Or, okay, can you help me get in my apartment? She can. Outside voice. Can have this. <laughs> yeah, Domitresk. Anyone say, anyone's playing Ari Village by default, I'll make fun of you. Oliver doesn't know how to talk. That's not true, he just chooses not to because it'd be too intense. That's, that's a big ass nail, but I can use it on the lock. Thank you, basement voice. Yeah, I wonder who's the basement voice. Wait, can you help too? Sure, what do you need? She don't want to annoy outside voice. You're not annoying me. What can I do for you? It drip, drip, drip. On her head. Exhausting. You need something to cover yourself with? Yes, outside voice is sweet. It's Gloria and I'll see what I can do. Something to cover? Oh, there's an umbrella. I don't know how I'm gonna shove it down there, but... <laughs> there's nothing except for this crappy umbrella. How the hell did you do that? Here's all I could find. Sorry it's not in better shape. I hope it's... She good, you nice, outside voice. Do you have a name, basement voice? She... She's... Hold on one second. Whatever. And she's messing the head, the cage. Alright, I'll see you around, or have a good day. <laughs> come on. Yes, got it. Home sweet home, here I come. Smells like lemon fresh detergent and old rubber. This is definitely my place. <laughs> Any mail? I've never heard of that game. I know, I want to save that person. A flyer for a Pacific cruise and a stack of fashion catalogs. Who do I have to travel with and who do I have to dress up for? You never know what people keep hidden in locks up and tight beneath the surface. Sometimes it's better that way. 
saying that to like the janitor. Yo, Brent. Can't wait to take a shower. Third floor, here we go. He's my little air buster. Maybe a glass of wine first before rinsing off. Or after with a pizza. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, the welcome mats are gone. Probably because this is a dream and not actually our apartment. Oh shit. Oh, the void. Oh, get out of there! Ah! <laughs> It's too late to knock. Oh my god! <laughs> Neighbor help! What did she say? Not normally one to eavesdrop, but... Please, darling, stop crying. Mommy can't take it anymore. Maybe I can lend a hand? Dude, Ouroboros is right on her tail, okay? I don't know if we should be saving this kid. Well, fuck. <laughs> that reaction's funny. Oh, well, I can't help them because I can't. How do I give them a hand? <gasps> Piano for that guy? Oh, well, I was thinking it's for the uh, the neighbor, but if we could like use the music to like lullaby the kid or something. It was like we have sheet music, but we don't have piano. Is that everything? Wait, is this the same? This is still four. Okay. Oh, we are finding the welcome mats. Let's take this one instead. No, not instead. Oh, so we find the bib? Okay, that one just disappeared. Oh shit. I wish I didn't have to, like, pick one or the other. Well, this is like a heart. Like, I know it's not gonna be right, but what happens? It's not gonna calm the child, okay. Oh, I guess the piano thing probably just goes back to... Oh, fuck. Um... Help! <laughs> I try to help you, Ouroboros baby. So can we not go down at all? Oh wait, here's two. Oh, is this the bib? I found it, let's take this one instead. Okay. Baby's finally quiet, quiet. Sleep tight, little love. Mommy needs her rest too. We did it! Be gone, Ouroboros. Okay, so that one was the heart, and then the piano, and then ours. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Enzo. Sort of, but not really, because there's... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I have to send them something else now. But it doesn't matter, we're playing this cool-ass game. Okay, so then that was on five. Jesus! <laughs> I should have asked, I would talk to the door first, but. Am I a fool for trying to fix exp 
fix things between us, or is he a coward for giving up? A little art every day keeps the demons at bay. Okay. Quick sand or boros. That was on four. No, I hit down. I <laughs> won't talk about this. It's too much to get into. I'd, I'd rather just play this game. But I'm glad. <laughs> glad you find it funny. Even the devil dances to good music. Okay, so this is... Oh, shit. What was that? Quick cuts. This is ours. No matter how many cups I make, nobody's coming over. That's us. Because we're alone. Oh, it is it is Grand. That's what you said when you were talking about Grand. Oh, poor Grand. Nobody comes over to see her. I don't know. I don't recall seeing... Is she on one? I don't recall... There we go. Wait. That's on one. There's another heart rug. Okay, it's different because now two looks like this. It's like re repeating. Because two has piano now. Alright, so then what's four have now? That's the baby. Oh, I hear the teapot. Kettle. Let's take this one instead. Whoa, there's a six? Oh, I didn't sign up for six. There wasn't a six before. Look, our outfit. The kettle's whistling, but for whom? There's our cell. My door. It should be here. My apartment, my little nest. Please, give me my life back. I should have seen what was on six. Hello, hello. Gloria, hey, are you all right? I've made bulabies, urchins, and mussels, Gloria. <laughs> well, enjoy. Gloria Las Oliver. How was it? Oh, you haven't touched the food. I'm sorry if it's not exactly hitting the spot. Are you ho angry with me? Are you angry? Bob! Just fucking... Take the hint, Bob. Boyabas. Hello, Gloria. How are you doing today? What did you do with it? I found a new recipe. Koi Avin, care to, yes? I have to go pick up an antique at Droa for the master. It's got a little tail. Looks like you haven't touched your plate. 
You have to eat, Gloria. I'm worried. I mean, the best recipe I know for the nicest person I know. Pigeon? Gloria? Please. How many days has it been? Well, I guess that's the end of it. She's eating! <laughs> she wants food she can pronounce. You've eaten! I was so worried, but I know the voile event would put the wind back in your sails. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, I'm bothering you again. At least your appetite's returned. Why do you care? What do you mean? What the hell do you care if I sit here and starve to death? It's not like you want me here, your master does. Right? So why do you mind? Well, I... Because the master wants to take care of you. And just because I care, I just do. Chuck it back at him! Is there anything else you might fancy? Nothing that you can provide? I understand. Well then, I'll be off for now. Hmm. Bob. Actually, I wouldn't mind something a little sweet. How about something a little sweet in the form of a key to get the fuck out of here, Bob? Of course, I'll do my best. What sweets would you prefer? He's being so nice about it. Well, of course, I'll bring you a sweet. I don't know, surprise me. Okay then, I'll be right back. Freedom fries. <laughs> All right, Gloria, we need a plan, okay? We gotta get out of here. We haven't exhausted all of our options, surely. Yo, Bob better hurry the fuck up with that sweet. Hey! Can you smell it, Gloria? Is that a cake? It's the, the chocolate. The soothing scent of fluffy pancakes fresh from the pan. With chocolate sauce on top. Is he cooking fries? Oliver! Oh, oh shit, we're cornered. We're in a food coma after those pancakes. <gasps> Our apartment's gone. What happened? Spot of milk spoiled ages ago. Smells revolting. Why, that milk is still there. Where's my stuff? <laughs> yeah, why is it the food coma nightmares? They're pretty. They're too much sometimes. What is this. Jesus, what is this peeping? There's nothing I can hope for out there. Hello? 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 Gloria, is that really you? Oh god, I was so desperate. Who is this? Why, it's me, sweetheart. Mommy? Finally, after all these years. I did everything I could to get you back. After that day. What day? Stay where you are, sweetheart. Mommy's coming to get you. Don't talk to any strangers and wait for me. <gasps> oh, like real real life? She got... She got kidnapped as a kid or something? Mommy is coming. Ow, shit. Mom? 
Mom, I got lost in the grocery store. I'm at customer service. Can you please pick me up? Hello, Gloria. Mr. St. Louis is speaking. Hello? Yes, I wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? <laughs> I've been waiting at the desk for 25 years. For the show, Gloria, for the show. You know, back then I wasn't quite sure you'd fit in. And I could see from the start that it wasn't always easy for you. Adjusting to a new place, a new role, a new audience. But day after day, with each and every performance, you improved. You became more satiating. More enjoyable. Now I can say, for what I envisioned, you just proved to be perfect. Ah, oh, there's a loud phone. Who is this again? Who's Logria? It's me. Me? Yes. Grolia. Oh my god! Gloria? Gloria? She's talking to her! How can you... I'm begging you... to stay with me. <laughs> Finally, after all these years, Mommy is coming... to hug me. For the show, Gloria. For the show. Where are you calling from? From the inside. Oh god, but I wanted to look at it. The phone! <laughs> she dreamed she was a lovely swan, so full of poison grace, but she became an ugly duck, forgotten in disgrace. Sorry, I'm covering this. When did... When love did not come seeking her, she searched for it instead, then squeezed it in her arms so tight, she sadly crushed it dead. With vanity a guiding star and fear her chilling oar, she sailed the sea at dawn's first light and drowned beside the shore. That's basically what happened to her. I love this music. She dreamed she was a lovely swan, so full of poise and grace. Okay, so we have to... We have to find the objects in order of what applies to... Oh, was that just pure luck? I'm gonna move my cam. I don't know if the other ones will need. Okay, but she became an ugly duck, so we have to find a duck. I mean... And love did not come seeking or she searched for it instead. A bouquet. I mean, I don't think I'm getting these right. Hold on, what are my options? So there's like the dress, something that's in the fridge. Wait, that's her, that looks like a face. Is that the ugly duck? I think, yeah, I think they're just like marking off in order. Oh, it's not. Oh, it, I was getting these in order. Oh God, go away. Oh my, I was just getting really lucky. Okay, when love did not come seeking. So it has to be the flowers then. When love did not come seeking her, she searched for it instead. Squeezed in her arms so tight, she sadly crushed his head. Okay, so the dress, the thing in the fridge that looks like her face. And... What's... Oh, and the couch. Okay, so couch, couch dress and the thing in the fridge. Squeeze in her arms so tight she suddenly crushes out of vanity. A guy in star and fear she still to see you down beside the shore. Is this considered drowning? I don't know, maybe that's the crush in her arms. Then squeeze in her arms so tight she sadly crushed it to dead. And then vanity, maybe the dress. Finally with Vanity a guiding this reminds me of a, pu of a puzzle in Final Fantasy IX <laughs> where um, it's 
talk to Ramu and you put his story in order, and then that's how Dagger gets her first summon back. <laughs> the Fania guiding Starfear, her chilling ore, and then the this is she sailed to sea at dawn's first light and drawn beside the shore. That's the one. Yeah, it's a story from two. I like how the monster looks too. Is it too late to change her fate? To give her something more? I don't know. Help me! Hold my hand! Stay strong! Oh god. I won't let you drown. Oh, that was act two. Act three. The kid. <gasps> Are we going to like actually full on repressed memories now? Because that was, that was, uh, chapter two is called The Captive. So this is the kid. Oh, she's brushing her teeth. How are you doing this morning? Not bad, a little stiff and sore, but nothing serious. I just dream so much, I wake up tired. Turn around, please. Was it the apartment dream again? Oh my, I don't like this. I don't like this relationship they have where it's like, cause he's probably the master and and everything. And he's like, she's like confiding in him. No, it's, it's Stockholm basically. Yeah, the Stockholm syndrome begins. Gross. They're <laughs> building rap work. Uh, was it the apartment dream? Same as always. Bartavis, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. Same as the past few weeks, it looked like my apartment, but it felt like I was somewhere else entirely. Somewhere different, uncomfortable. What's for breakfast? Was anyone else there? At breakfast? In the dream. Oh no, I don't think so. The place was empty, but somehow felt alive, like it didn't want me to leave. Yeah, that part in the apartment was so cool. I just really like the effects, uh, or like how how her apartment turned into that, with this thing following you around, and like the fact that like the transitions to the the, the nightmare scenes just like happen. Uh, it's not it's not like a a, a literal prison, but he it did kidnap us. Well, he may not have the master did, but we think he is the master. He just is like has a split personality, possibly. But he at least works for the master. Yeah, you should play it. It's good. Look, he's outside the window. In the middle of the apartment. And it feels hostile. Which is weird because it's empty. I know I don't belong here anymore, and I want to escape. But the moment I decide to leave, the air becomes... Suffocating. I feel like I'm dying and I don't know why. Looks so good. And then just like that, something changes. Whoa! An idea! <laughs> A new perspective. It strikes me. She's really good at painting us a picture. What is this idea, Gloria? I don't understand. Hope. Even if I'm not where I want to be, even if I have nowhere to go, as long as I'm breathing, there is hope. And life feels tolerable again. That's very inspiring, Gloria. You can always count on me to help make your life good again. Why? How? Not sure you can help with that, Bob, but thanks anyway. Don't thank him. How about that milk? This milk makes my stomach turn. Okay, never mind. These branches look indestructible. 
They seem to be coming from somewhere deep within. Yeah, food, <laughs> so at least 70% of what life is about. I'm glad it's feeling like home anyway. That's not really the case, Bob. Yeah, sorry, I mean, anyway, keep going. Goodbye, Granny. I hope your kettle keeps whistling long and loud. <laughs> Oliver, we're saying bye to our neighbors. Goodbye, Mr. Mysterious. I'm sure people would love to hear you conduct orchestras again, but that's up to you. Are you, he's like a creeper though, right? I won't miss your mess, you two. And between us, darling, let him go. <laughs> It'll be better for both of you. Bye, I won't miss your crying baby. But I wish the both of you all the best. Is Joy gonna be in the elevator? Is Joy or Ouroboros is gonna come crashing through that elevator? It's Bob! <laughs> and then what happened? Oh my God, Bob, he's just everywhere. Nothing special. Took the elevator. Awesome. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, who's that Pokemon? <laughs> it's Bob! Before leaving, I erase my name from my nail box. For whoever comes after me. I take one last breath. Say goodbye. One last step forward. I love the sky. And it's done. I'm free again. Wow. No wonder you're tired. <laughs> I hope these strange dreams aren't bothering you too much. If so, we'll make arrangements. Like letting me go? That's the one thing I can help you with, Gloria. I know, but I can't see the harm in asking every now and then. Can you think of anything else that might make you happy? Oh my god! How about some magazines? I miss hearing about the world. Do you think your boss would be okay with that? I... I will have to ask. What sounds good for breakfast? Scrambled eggs with toast and a lemon tea? Of course. How do you want your eggs? The usual with sweet peppers and all that stuff. Very well. Oh god, the relationship is so close. It's like... Toast! He said your name! <laughs> Alright. So when the toast comes in, pretty and comfortable, huh? Not bad, Bob. Okay, while Bob is making breakfast, gym time. That was so smooth. Oh my God, we're doing push-ups. Oh, we have to hold on. Oh, it's just yoga. We're following this. Yeah! Oh my God, we're so good at yoga. I wish yoga was easy. Oh, I'm struggling this morning. I'm doing just fine, Gloria. Mind your business. That's like Flappy Bird. Woo! It's not over. <laughs> oh God. Okay, this one's harder. It's just, it's like, it, it's, it's hard to exp When you guys play, you'll see. It's hard to keep it centered. I it's like legit just like hitting left and right to stabilize it. 
but then like occasionally hitting left or right more. Ah! Scared me. Oh, it's Master Gloria. Ah, Mr. Money, what do you want? I don't think it's good for you to have newspapers or magazines. Of course you don't. How about some of the classics instead? Prost, Flambert, Shouten, Brian. <laughs> Bear with me. Kind of misses the point of keeping up with the outside world. The outside world? An overrated concept. Says the one who isn't trapped inside a cage. Now let me enjoy my day in peace. Today. It wasn't a bad day. Too bad I can't have the damn magazines. Bob. Never met a nicer loser. <laughs> Harmless and obliging. Right? The master. If he was planning to hurt me, he'd have done it by now. He's probably even more stuck up than his servant. Won't even see me face to face. Pros of this life. No need to work anymore, or shave my legs, or do the dishes. And what Bob cooks, three-star Michelin quality easily. My god, no, stop. Oh god, this make me sick. The cons. There we go. No parties, no TV. And I kind of miss the sun. There we go. Yeah, we love the sun. The black swan. Aldo must have recruited a couple of new girls. Younger, flexible, naive. I'm better off here. Stop it! Joy. She probably thinks I disappeared because she dumped me, egomaniac. Projecting. <laughs> but she's not losing any sleep over it. Freedom. Freedom is overrated. Luxury, tranquility, truffle omelets. These are the values of today. What time is it? Today. Bob. Oh god, her last thoughts is Bob. Don't let him have that satisfaction. What was that flash? Did we get a picture? Bob? Is that you? Is somebody here? Was that a shadow? The glass eye seems innocent for once. Definitely saw a shadow lurking. You'd probably get a kick out of this. This creepy swan bed isn't helping. The dummy, can't remember if it was here exactly. Can I live in? I don't know. Is the light coming from this? <laughs> Boo! <gasps> oh, I got you. She did this little shit. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? How did you get here? Okay, well, it's younger her. Oh my god, that sound. Ha ha ha! Grown ups are so easy to spook. Do you have a name? Guess. Why does she sound like a? Guess how could I? Never mind, Glow Glow. Let's play a game. This is what kids sound like, absolutely. It's way too late for games. <laughs> glow Glow. Wait, how do you know? You're no fun. Of course I'm not fun. I'm exhausted. But if you let me sleep, I swear we'll play together first thing in the morning. Awesome. Do you 
Promise. Cross my heart. And hope to die. Where did she... Master? Oh, as soon as Master leaves, Bob comes back. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's three in the morning. Rise and shine. Ew, is he, like, watching her sleep, like, being all cute? This guy's gross. Hmm. Gloria. But, Bob, now you're waking me up in the middle of the night, too? Heavens no, it's 6 a.m. Technically speaking, it's already morning. Oh, it's 6 a.m. And look what I've brought you. Homemade croissants, fresh from the oven. At 6 a.m.? Well, technically speaking, waking me up this early is bullshit. I'm gonna go back to sleep once Bob leaves from going back to bed. You made these? Only the best for our guest. I've been folding the dough for 45 minutes. Who eats at 6 a.m.? Who fucking makes croissants at 6 a.m.? For 45 minutes. <laughs> it is how I feel. How did we sleep, Gloria? Any more strange dreams? I don't know. I don't really want to think about it. Sharing your feelings is healthy. You want to be healthy, don't you? I don't know, Bob. All these questions. I just want what's best for you, Gloria. But if I'm bothering you, I should go. See you later. Oh, did we make Bob feel bad? Or No, no, that's okay. No, stop! He's manipulating you. You want me to stay? Yes, please. Oh, I'm I'm sick. Do you remember my last dream? How I could finally leave my apartment and how good that felt? Of course. Last night's dream picked up at the same place, like the latest episode of a TV show. Too bad I didn't bring up any popcorn. Oh my god. So I'm standing in the street. Good one, Bob. <laughs> Everything feels strange, but I can tell this is my neighborhood in Paris. In Paris. And at that moment, I have somewhere to be. So I start walking. Have you seen these, these rambling roses growing wild and free? Much nicer than some fussy bouquet a man would buy. Yeah, stupid men. <laughs> at first, the first bouquet I ever got at the Swan had wild lilies in it. Oh, I can't read all that fast. Lilies don't lie. They either grow free and effortless, or you have to re replant them every year and baby them. So much effort just to see them die. That's Aldo! Nothing like a cool drink after a long day, right, Victoria? How do you know my mom? It's the little things that make the hard work worth it. What the fuck is this? Who are they? My former boss and my mother. That's the problem with dancers today. They expect everything to be served up on a platter. Did you know she once called in the middle of a show and demanded I come and get her? Oh no, not this story. I sent her to see Mary Poppins. Kid like her. Why wouldn't she love musicals, right? Nope. Wanted to act tough and snuck into something for adults. She barely made it an hour. Called the ballet in tears, saying I had to come take her home. What was the movie? Oh, Bob and Aldo asking the same question, huh? I don't know. Some silly movie about a monster baby. Rosemary's baby, I was terrified. <laughs> Did you pick her up? And tell the ballet director what? My child is an unreliable, immature brat. She made her bed. She had to sleep in it. I was nine. 
I gave her so many chances to fix her own problems, but I end up cleaning every mess she makes. Let's go, Bob. Who knows, maybe someday we'll go to the movies together. Shut the fuck up, Bob! Just don't drag me to a horror movie or a musical and we should be fine. Oh my gosh, she's going along with it. You don't like musicals? They fake on screen what I do for real. Yuck. Look at Bob's dumbass face. Sickening. And then I'm back here, cobblestones beneath my feet, with these towering buildings looking down on me. Yeah, who knows, Tonberry? Wow, this sounds amazing, Gloria. <laughs> if not for some of the disturbing details, it could be a heavenly place. There are a few wandering silhouettes. But I can't find this presence I'm looking for. A presence? You mean someone? Someone, yeah. Somehow. A man, maybe? Someone you know? And then... Then? Tell me, tell me! Then... I... I don't remember what's next. I think that's where you woke me up. <laughs> oh no, I've interrupted your dream! Without an end, this story doesn't make any sense! Sorry to disappoint, Bob. It's a dream, not a fairy tale. You can't always make head nor tail of dreams. I think I'll go back to bed now, Bob. Er, you don't try the croissants? Handmade, one hour folding the dough, remember? Don't guilt us, Bob! They look delicious, but I'm not that hungry right now. See you later. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bob. My pleasure, Gloria. So, see you later. Later? Oh yeah, sorry, I'll leave you alone. Alone, yeah. Jesus. Oh God. Oh, we are continuing the dream. Alone with myself. Yes! Fuck you, Bob. This isn't about you, it's about us. That was a really cool transition. What is your deal? You shoved me? Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, we never went through here. <clears throat> we can't. I don't have a move-in day yet because I don't have the loan approved yet. Once we get it. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's gray beard. <laughs> Braid. <laughs> gray, it's gray beard. Well, well, look who came back after all. How are you, Gloria? I wasn't sure you'd still be here. Why not? Things haven't been going my way lately. Uprooting yourself is a painful process and scary if you don't know where you'll be planted next. <laughs> Yar. I think I'm starting to understand what you said last time. You know, about making room in my chest. There's something stirring inside me, I can feel it. But I can't see it or touch it. Maybe just listen to it. Listen to it? How? Why? Let's try something. First, close your eyes. And take a slow, deep breath. Now breathe out again. Do I let go? Slowly, deeply, be aware of your breath. Music. 
Oh god, yeah, hopefully our chest's not making room for Bob. And in again. And out. Can you hear it, Gloria? Right there, always has been. My breath, exactly. You need to listen to yourself, and the first step is to be aware of your breathing. Proper breathing frees you to pay attention to everything else, both inside and out. Hey, Mark. Where did you take us? You brought us here, actually. A space you created yourself. <laughs> not bad. Okay, what now? You're the one in charge here, you tell me. Well, I've been cooped up for so long, maybe I need a place to stretch out? Speaking of, my freaking shoulders. Stretching out? Now that's a good way to look at it. Think of this area as a place where you can stretch out your perspective, too. My own personal space. That's nice. So does that mean I need to come here, come back here every time I feel stuck? That's up to you. This place represents your sense of hope. As long as you have some left, it will be here when you need it. Hope. Something in you wants to come out, Gloria. And it just needs a little help. A little hope. I don't know if hope is gonna help us. Gloria? Gloria, are you there? Yep. Haven't figured out how to walk through walls yet. <laughs> oh. The, the choice of music has me curious. Okay, I'm coming down. What's up? After our chat this morning, the master sent me out shopping. And I have a little something for you. The vanilla macaroons you told me about? Even better. Is it? This month's Cosmo! Oh! Wow! A magazine! Bob is breaking the rules! Thank you, Bob. You're the best. But the camera? The master? Don't worry. He's asleep in his bedroom. But we'd better go quickly, right? Gotcha. Shall I start? start reading i'm gonna read it to you uh can i do that myself or i don't think that's a good idea come on otherwise it won't be any fun I'll keep it off camera your boss will never even know yeah who the fuck has a magazine read to them i think you were yeah we were making bob disobey but not too much because he's still afraid of the camera See, I don't- I don't know- I don't think Bob knows he's the master. I think this is like an Alfred Alexia situation <laughs> where he's both, but he doesn't know that. Of course. Of course you'd want to put your hands on and read it yourself. Oh, I missed an alert. A shirt purchase. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't hear that at all. Thank you for buying a shirt. That is so kind. I need to make more merch. You inspired me. Yo, Hero, it's really good. Definitely get it. Buying the damn thing was a mistake. Oh, Bob's pissed. I, I think I'll head back upstairs. I'll bring those macaroons next time. Macarons. 
Bob, wait! Please. Sorry, I was being childish. I've already taken a huge risk here, Gloria. I know, I'm sorry. Read it to me. It'll be fun. All right, off we go. Oh, he changes turn really fast. He's just like, okay. <laughs> Cosmopolitan, 1990, the February issue. Madonna has announced her blonde ambition tour in Europe this summer with a lineup that includes her controversial singer, like a prayer. <laughs> Was that what it said? The so he's he's changing the words. No, I can't read this fast. Madonna claims her latest tour will showcase a unique artistic experience inspired by the likes of Fritz Lang, Stanley Kubrick, and Jean Paul. I can't read the last name. It's it, it's it's auto playing. A laboratory has developed a new collagen molecule able to deep go deep in epidermis and improve skin tension up to 60%. Initial trials indicate improvements to tint and demeanor as little as one week. It takes place in 89. Or, well, probably 90 now. The girls fair, the disturbing whatever. Several models have, models have spoken of abusive working hours, nightmarish management, and healthy diets. <gasps> Despite the controversy, scouts manage to recruit new young girls every year, many of whom are underage. Okay, nothing new in the news. The outside world used to be more exciting than this. Well, it's because you're reading Cosmopolitan. Hmm. Can you find the horoscope? Horoscope, horoscope. <laughs> Found it. Okay, Gemini. Wait, he knows we're a Gemini? Wow, stupid question. New beginnings await. After months of complications, you're back on track and the horizon is bright. Wow, you know my astrological sign. Of course, your sign, place of birth, shoe size, allergies, blood type. Right, right. Population schedule. Okay, <laughs> that's okay, Bob. We get it. Keep reading the horoscope. Right. Someone new will soon enter your life. Enjoy the, their company to the fullest. That's Bob. Beware of negative emotions surfacing around the 13th. They might harm you or someone you care about. What's today's date, by the way? I don't... You really shouldn't care about that. Mm, some ads for anti-aging cream, vodka, menthol cigarettes. Oh, there's a quiz! Lady Diana, Caroline, or Stephanie of Monaco. Which princess are you? Want to take it? Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, let's do a quiz. Cool, I bet I can guess all your answers. Shut up, Bob! Okay, first question. Bring it on, I'm ready. When you were a child, your favorite type of play was dance practice, getting into mischief. I didn't play very much. Well, not, I mean, I don't know, getting into mischief, but like not really, like I climbed a tree. <laughs> really? I never would have guessed. You're such a calm and kind person. I'm answering for me. Sorry, Gloria. As a princess, how do you feel about your servants? I mean, you respect them. Whatever. I agree, my lady. Your driver is waiting to take you to a gala. Before you leave, you have... A class of Polyak. A Big Mac. <laughs> Prozac. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would have a Big Mac. Hell yeah. Yes, this is how girly I answers. I think Prozac. Yeah, he miladied unironically. I'm not surprised. I'm gonna go with. I, I was was that wine? Boring. <laughs> I don't know. Prozac. I want to pick Prozac because it's funny. But Big Mac. Big Mac. You need a different personal chef for that one. Maybe someday I'll try cooking one of these American sandwiches. It's McDonald's is in front, France. Your vacation home absolutely has to contain a library, a paraglider, a gym. Paraglider. Why? They're so dangerous. What about vertigo or dying? Fuck you, Bob. Paparazzi finds your secret vacation hideout. You <gasps> hide the paraglider. 
Ignore them, they're an unavoidable part of life. Hop in your sports car and lose them in the mountains. <laughs> it's like it's a car chase. <laughs> Burst into tears, even a princess needs your privacy sometimes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Lose them in the mountains. Why? You wanna die in a car accident? Bob, I didn't ask you. Being a princess is hard. I wonder if this is like changing my ending or anything. I hope not. I hope this is just for fun. Because I'm picking like really stupid things. Being a princess is hard. Under stress, you tend to throw up. I mean, I don't know. I've been, I'm used to stress, so I just keep calm. Yeah, I mean, troubles come and go. Best to roll with the punches. Last question. Pay attention. Okay, I'm listening. You can't get through everything alone. Your perfect match is a chef, a pilot, a psychiatrist. Okay. I would say a chef, but Bob is going to infer that as him. If I said chef, if I said chef, Bob's going to be like, you would have me with you? Like, no, Bob, a chef, not you. Dolls in France, so I could order royale cheese. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I hear they taste different in other countries. Pilot probably has some combat training. Maybe. I mean, Bob could be all, but like, he is very obviously a chef right now. Like, he, like, like, he could be a, like a secret psychiatrist, like, that could be like the twist. Or he could be a, a secret pilot, but as far as we know Bob now, he's a chef, and only that. So he would def- and, and he knows that we know he's a chef. So, we- he would take that as a yes. But I'm gonna go with chef because, you know, you gotta eat. <laughs> you can thank the master for bringing us together. Oh, here we go! So what's it say? One moment while I tally the answers. If you have mostly triangles, you're Stephanie of Monaco, the rebel princess. Probably because she had a paraglider. Rebel princess, eh? It doesn't exactly suit you. Keep reading, Bob. The uncomfortable dresses, the boring events, not your thing. Dynamic, audacious, and a bit sassy. No palace can hold you. A wild heart runs free, beyond its walls. You tell your servants not to settle for a miserable life, but don't demonstrate pity when they're too dumb to understand. Whoa, that's mean. See what happens when you answer randomly? Nothing but nonsense. This is a nonsense! Honestly, I kind of like this result. I wonder why I even risked bringing you this magazine. I think we'll have to stop there. The master could wake up from his nap any moment now. The magazine, maybe. I can't give it to you, Gloria. I'm sorry. Maybe you can hide it upstairs so we can read it another time? And if the master finds it in my belongings... A woman's magazine, no less. He'll know it was for you. You'll find the perfect hiding spot, I'm sure of it. But... Come on, Bob, be a real man for once. Ooh. Rise and shine. <clears throat> he apparently makes good croissants. Yeah, Bob. Um... All right, kid arc now. This chapter is called The Kid, or this act, so wondering when it's gonna be more about that. You're not up yet? Getting on good side or bad side is the right option if there's any effective future. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, it's you. Are you ready to play? Sure, sure, just give me five more minutes. I think it's just us, like literally like in our childhood. Hey. Hey! I said, give me a minute. Wake up! <laughs> you promised we could play at Dodd's first light, remember? Oh my god, this kid's voice is so accurate. I'm not sure I said it like that. Alright, stand back. I need a stretch. No, no, no! Come on, there's not much time left. What are you talking about? I have all the time in the world. Besides, grown-ups need a stretch so they don't hurt themselves. 
Can we play outside once you're all stretchy? Ha, huh, I'd like to, but being an adult can be pretty complicated. There's no outside. Ah, oh, this again? I have a question. Oh my god, I cannot... Do you like pirates or magicians better? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a hard mode now because this kid asking questions. I don't fucking care, kid. Magicians. I'm so bored. Please, I want to play already. Oh my god, please kick her. Won't be much longer, I promise. Promise we play. Cross your heart and hope to die. I'm almost done. Oh my god, fuck you, kid. Kid? Oh, she's gone. I legit looked at chat and looked back and she was gone, just like how she saw her leave. Chat, what'd you do? What'd you do with the kid? Gloria. Uh. Wake up. It's 11 a.m. already. What a restless night. Bob must have let me sleep in a little. Did he? I'll have a word with him. Uh-oh, we got Bob in trouble. Get off his back. He's doing his best, okay? It seems you've taken a shine to him. He listens to me. He cares about me. Bob is a good man, indeed. Okay, see, now I'm starting to think that Bob knows he's master. Maybe, is there, like, can, can, can these situations be one way? Like, master knows he's Bob, but Bob doesn't know he's master. <laughs> so why don't you treat him with the respect and kindness he deserves? You think so? So there's a chance. True, his treatment is quite severe. Cruel to be kind, is that it? It's what's best for him. And for you too, apparently. You've improved a lot since your arrival. Arrival? I guess that's one way to put it. I'd like to reward your efforts. With what? A philosophy manual? A bag of marbles? Tonight, in the domain, I'm having a gathering. And you'll be allowed to participate, after a fashion. Even if your friends are only half as creepy as you, I think I'll pass. See, I don't know. I I think Bob... Bob does... I, I think Bob thinks he's a servant. But yeah, maybe... I am starting to think it is just, like, one person, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm merely offering you a chance to have separate soiree down here. Soiree? So, right? I have no interest in what kind of things sickos like you find entertaining. You'd be surprised. I'll be handi handing- Oh my god, I can't read. I'll be handing off your party preparations to Bob. It's his idea, after all. <laughs> Hello, Gloria. Where were you? You look frazzled. Do I? Heavens, you'll have to forgive me. I've been so busy getting everything together. You mean for the party? Yes, indeed. I assume the master got you up to speed. Isn't he wonderful? It's all his idea, of course, because you've been so good. From where I'm sitting, it's his wonderfully kind servant who deserves all the credit. Stop it, Gloria! So thank you. I've got balloons, streamers, confetti, and all this delicious... The delicious treats you can eat, of course. But first... A little present to get us in the mood. Mood? May I... Open it. A cassette player! Your cassette player! Oh, she's so excited! With stereo sound! Wow, thank you. I don't know what to say. That's so cool. Press play. There's a cassette inside. That's the song name. Oh, 
Yeah, it's Humber. I don't know if Secretary is Bob, though. Like, Secretary could be another personality, maybe. But I do remember that. The song is such a bop, as the kids say. Their first album, my favorite one. I've been paying attention, haha. Ha. Bob, you're amazing. I'm the happiest person on earth right now. Le bop, as they say. Now that we've got the music, let's get this party underway. As the kids under 30 say, <laughs> which I so am. Oh, she got a balloon. The kids do say that. Shut up. Are those chicken wings on a toilet. All right, Bob, I'm done. You can look now. Ta-da. Wow, Gloria, you're quite the interior decorator. Oh, the room's ready. There's one last little thing for you. What's this? Another present? You'll have to open it to find out. Cool, but let's have a drink first. I wish I could, really, but I can't stay. Wait, what? Yeah, I have to go. You're leaving me? I'll be all alone for my party? Bob, I really wish I could stay, but the master has tasks for me. You've got everything you need to have a ton of fun, so enjoy, okay? We're celebrating our birthday. Fuck Bob's birthday. Hopefully it's a key, Bob. <laughs> it's a big box for a key, but... Bob, wait, please. Have fun, Gloria. What if it is a key? And you... You think you're a merciful ruler, but you're just a... Just a... Whatever. Let's see what's in that box. Oh, she's so excited. It's a dress. Oh, it looks like the dress Granny wears a little bit. Wow, beautiful. Just puts her, okay, it's not Granny's dress. Oh, it's a princess dress. Absolutely stunning. You look like a princess. A <laughs> picture of a key like, uh, Mr. Bean. Oh, the way she's walking. That's a huge cake for one person. What was Bob thinking? Maybe there's the key in the cake. Strawberries and cream. Time for a taste. Mmm, delicious. No combat. Enjoy. I forgot how much I miss this. Is it based off the answers? Yeah, I wonder. Like, just like different color or something. She accidentally eats the key. <laughs> no, she starts like choking on the key and dies in there. Missed what? Aw, oh, this kid's ruining my party. Hey, you're right on time. Come in, come in. Wow, that looks awesome. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I have an idea for a game. Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! All right. Kid, can you face through the door again give me a key what do you say about a little game of hide and seek yeah i'm hiding i called it you count a little peeky okay let's start close your eyes first to win three rounds is the champ where can we possibly hide in here one two three Oh, five. Keep those eyes closed. She left. She's cheating. Ready or not, here I come. I know you're out there. Found you. We totally cheated. Gosh, you got me. Try to hide better. Let's start again. Better not be cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I 
<laughs> found you. What? Stupid girl in the painting. Again, you sure you cheated? No, I didn't cheat. I would never cheat at hide and seek. <laughs> Correct, kid. I'm I'm peeking. You can let go and totally cheat. Where is she? She's at the bottom. Keep those eyes closed. Five. She's like in the bed. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, I wonder where she is. She's like so obviously in the bed. <laughs> Found you. I guess you won. Haha, <laughs> yes, I'm the champ, the hide and seek legend. That was super fun. I mean, you had fun too, right? Yeah, maybe hide and seek is that foot after all. Whatever, Kay, you can only say I can just suck at it. Okay, kid, enough games. Time to put some gas in the tank. We're gonna shotgun beers or something? Can we go to the park? What park? Outside the park with the trees and the toboggan, the small pod. Kids only have fun they win, right? Koda. Do you know how to build a treehouse? What would I want a treehouse for? It's fun to build. You can invite your friends over. Bitch, I'm about to have a house for that. Can we go to the park? Ha, <laughs> no. Have another puff. Puff? I'm not hungry anymore. I want to go outside. You know what's more fun than the park? Dancing. Did you know I'm a professional dancer, kid? I used to be the best. Paul! Thanks for 21 months. Let's go, girl. Oh, I blew it. Beautiful technique, as I missed. Oh, what happened? Mommy's so proud of you. But I'm passed out, what happened? Glow, glow. Glow, glow. Wake up, please. Master. He, he's just jealous that Bob's gonna throw him a party. That's master. Hey, kid. Give me a minute and we'll get back to dancing. Victoria is the person in the audience who's our mom. Yeah, she's in the crowd. Can we leave? I I don't want to be here anymore. What, are there flies over the cake already? Don't be silly. Have a piece of cake. God, everything's all, like, destroyed already. Bob made that. It's delicious. Can we leave, please? Go outside or somewhere else? Come on, eat that cake with me, kid. I'm not hungry. I just want to leave. Come on, just a bite. No, I don't want to. Fine, more for me. Don't you want to leave, too? Kid, look around you. I have everything I need here. Guys, this is so sad. Now shut up and let me eat in peace. Let's go, please. This room is small and sad. Look how haggard she is eating. It's very relatable. Oh, unless she's all cute and dainty with her dress. Might look like a small room to you. But who's to say we don't choose our own interpretation? Huh? Sometimes all you need is a change of perspective. I don't want to change. I don't want to pretend. I want to leave. Leave? Ha, somebody teach you to work miracles? You naive little brat living in La La Land. 
Time to grow up and face reality. Shut up. No, you shut the fuck up. Let go, you're hurting me. I'm not the one holding you back. Oh God, what am I doing to her? Am I killing this child? <laughs> oh my God. You're just a prisoner of your own minds. Shying away from reality. Fuck you, you crazy bitch. <laughs> I can't. Drowning in fear. These are the things that they were saying in the nightmare. Breathe. But you can elevate yourself, kid. Elevate. And finally, be. Free. Well, the kid's not even there. Oh, we just popped her head off. I guess. Or wait, did she like... Sh oh, yeah, I was gonna say, we like shoved her head through the bed. I guess that was the kid. Act four, the princess. <laughs> Hello, dear. God, there's flies everywhere. I never on Elm Street at her. I know I'm so proud. <laughs> is that what a decarnation is? Decarnated that kid. We, we sent our possible would-be child, or would-be, our inner child to whatever that eyeball is. It just makes me think of Final Fantasy IX again. Hello, dear. How did you sleep? She looks like shit. Look at her. Wow. Looks like the party was a success. Somebody partied too hard. I've just come from the market. Look at him. He's like all... Dangling his arm. Merchants were still setting up shop. Endless rows of colorful vegetables. Beautiful and unbellished. Blemished. Just how I like it. Gloria? Yeah. You seem distant. A success? Yeah. Is it the party? You didn't enjoy it? You didn't like my playlist or the cakes? Everyone looked so happy and proud. You can't blame me for not wanting to leave. Glory, are you okay? An omelet and some toast should put you back on track. Oh my god, just let her go. I'll be back shortly. Bob? Pan cakes. What did you say? Bring me pancakes with the chocolate sauce. The sauce, drown them in it. <laughs> I like this, Gloria. Gray braid, are you here? Whoa. I, I need help. Uh, uh, I forgot about the yelling. Uh, uh, uh. Gloria! I think I've done something very, very wrong. Come here. There's nothing we can't fix. Oh, this. We can't fix. It's too late. Gloria. That little girl trusted me and I... <laughs> shoved her head through a mattress. Squeeze. Squeeze. And so I did. I see... A voice from inside that you chose not to hear. I... what are you talking about? You need to reconnect to your feelings. To accept what your inner self is telling you, pleasant or painful. But I have hope already. You told me it was all about hope! That's true, everything starts with hope. 
But hope isn't some isn't enough. You need something more. Something abandoned and buried deep. What are you talking about? Your intuition. My intuition? Your intuition will help you feel what is true, what is right. If hope is the wind in your sails, then intuition is the compass to guide you. A most effective tool, you see. On the topic of tools, I could really use a welding torch and some pepper spray. <laughs> intuition is a different kind of tool. And wisdom is all I have to give. You said it's buried somewhere. Where exactly? Oh, that's the thing. Only you know where. You're the one who buried it. Deep down, long ago. Bob? Bob! Where the hell is he? <gasps> Did Master kill him? Are they in fact two separate people? Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, fuck you, Bob! Yes, Gloria, I'm here. Hey. I'm hungry. I cook a delicious caco bean for the master. Would you fancy a plate? Cake. Pardon me. I want cake. What about the macaroons I brought you this morning? Whoosh, disappeared. I don't think too much dessert is ideal, Gloria. I'm also affected by a Stockholm. <laughs> They got me. They sucked me right in. My blood sugar's low. I can feel it. Plus, my tummy hurts. Wouldn't you rather have some medicine? Nah, cake is better. With cream. I'll feel better after. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Good boy. Oh! No, that's, that's like, that's so true, because she's finally... Oh, Bob! No, this is amazing that she's using him now. Oh, all the tables have turned. It, it was making sense, because when she, like, put her foot down, she's just like, no, I want cake, or, like, pancakes, I want pancakes. Like, she started feeling more assertive, so... This definitely makes sense. Oh, the turns have tabled. <laughs> Bob! Homemade whipped cream! She looks like shit, though, like, for real. Fire razor. Not that crap from the supermarket. Gloria. All that screaming is becoming quite the nuisance. Oops. I didn't realize that mass Mr. Money's office was so close to my bedroom. If you need Bob's help, use the intercom on the wall. Intercoms are for pretentious cowards like you. Bob prefers to hear me out in person. Look, how about you worry all about your master business and I'll take care of my own. I would advise you to rethink your tone, Gloria. Oh, drown him out. Yeah, what are you going to do? Lock me up? This is the plan. Quick, flush the toilets, make everything really loud. Got a date with you later. <laughs> We stop fitting, Bob will be thrilled to shop for more. Stop making that face. Is that a weapon? Oh, I see. There, fixed. Now we're back here. Oh, that embarrassed statue and his pee pee again. So the goose head off the bed. That could have been a weapon, though. I mean, not that it matters because no one is getting in her room right now, but. I mean, if we keep talking to Master this way and he comes in to like teach us a lesson, we bash him over the head with that. Intuition, intuition. Where would I have buried that? Who is, who's Dracula over there? Wait, is that magician because I picked magician? Gray Braid said long ago, I hid it somewhere 
d somewhere deep down. Hey, Dracula. You'll have so much fun! Greetings, Mademoiselle Gloria. Hello? How do you know my name? Magic, na naturally. I read it in the depths of your beautiful eyes. Let me guess, life has been challenging lately? Yeah, well, it all started when... All right. Oh wait, that was her. All right, very touching story. How about a little magic game to brighten your day? I love magic. Well, I have somewhere to be, so duty can wait. If you're even half as talented as you are lovely, you've got a real shot and we'll have a lot of fun. So what do you say, Mademoiselle Gloria? Sure. I suppose a little fun won't hurt. Let's play, but beware, it's a challenging game. Only the brightest minds will prevail. Sounds more like a chore to me. Behold my most marvelous creation. The pair matching game. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm so good at matching things. I think I know what I have to do. You guessed it, fantastic. You've got a touch for magic talent after all. I only have, I have three lives. Okay, that, those are the only ones I remember seeing. <laughs> Everything else, I'm like, uh. Okay, the moon. Face. Oh, is it that, this one? Well, shit, these are the only ones I pressed. Was that beef stick? Oh! Talk to the hand. Fuck yeah! What the fuck? Was I, I was going like Ultra Instinct at the end there. I genuinely, th those were all guesses. Cause I, like I said, the only ones I memorized were the first two. Is it actually rigged? It being rigged is the only excuse for that. Cause like, I mean, I don't know, go back. I want to go clip the beginning when they were put down and see if it was actually matching up with the ones that I actually picked up. You saw me make a mistake. Okay, so it is rigged. I know it's got, like it has to be rigged. There's no way that <laughs> I'm just that good. No, there's no way I guessed my way through that. I mean, two of them were were wrong. So maybe it's only rigged when you're on your last life. Anyway, I found my intuition. You beat the game, Mademoiselle Gloria. An amazing performance, bravo. Hey, Toasty, is it actually rigged when you're on your last life? Tell us, spill it. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this. We have the answers in chat, potentially. <laughs> they can play it again. Oh, I'd love to play it again. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I, I, I wanna quit while I'm ahead. Clip coming up if you wanna see. You can just tell me. So if I tab out, the game mutes, and then it's this whole thing. An amazing performance, bravo. Okay, for another round, it's an absolute joy to see your talents in action. Sure, is it way harder? Okay, one more, I'm gonna die. There's no way it's rigged. Mm -hmm. 
Blue box, you guys, your third pair was in three spots. So then it moves. So I, I but the same thing happened. Like, I didn't, I memorized the moons of the fox and where the faces were, I think. And, like, the eyes. When they were putting it down. And the rest are guesses. No, that was really fun, though. Thanks, magician. That doesn't really feel like a magic trick. Killed the mudge. You almost set a new winning streak record. Two? <laughs> Two is almost... You'll come back soon, right? Right? Want to play with magic? Do I have to do it again to progress and make him happy? Set the record? Do I want more prestige? <laughs> no one's ever done three. I can't do three. That's so intimidating. No one's ever done three. Oh, wait, what's your deal? Nothing. Why is he even here? Okay, it's optional. Okay. I'm over here like, is this guy going to change the course of my future? You'll have so much fun. Oh. <gasps> Oh, there's books. The man with no roof breaks her heart. She turns back. Oh, we gotta find passages. Oh, but I'm still covering half of them. Shit. Descending is not freefall. She goes down but emerges on the other side. on the wall speaks strangely to her. She's on her way. Hey, mister. If I look into it, I can see an eye staring at me. As she climbs the stairs, she notices an enig enigmatic poster. Oh, that's second to last. I know, she should not have called him an it. Must we have Genova. She remembers higher there is a door she fears leading to the depths. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> a wreck looking for a way out at the bottom of his glass, she moves forward. All right. Got the poem. What is this loop? That's cool. Not lost, just buried. Oh, we find the book and now we have to find the things. Okay, this phrase on the wall speaks to her. A wreck looking for a way out the bottom of his glass. Is that the guy sitting by himself? Or the literal telephone glass? <laughs> Okay, so he's not part of that. I wonder if that's all from the beginning. Like, if I leave. Whoa, a rack looking for a way out of the bottom of his glass. She moves forward. Wait. Lies, 
Russell! Thank you for the 50 gift subs! Just a casual berry of the light. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I understand. Thank you. If everyone that got a gift of this stuff for Russell, thank thank them, please. Got to enjoy this game. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Thank you. Have an awesome day. See, this part is the man with no roof breaks her heart. She turns back. Turning back would have been where I came from. Like, I assume we make a story here. Descending is not free fall. She goes down but emerges on the other side. She climbs the stairs. She notices an enigmatic poster. Okay. So that way is wrong. Yo, Aragus. Welcome back after a long time. So it's not coming back? Well, I crossed the bridge, but it, nothing lit up. I mean, I guess I didn't fully cross it. But that wouldn't be turning back. That's like, that's proceeding. Turning, because it makes me think that I have to like go backwards. So I proceed. Descending is not free fall. She goes down, merging on the other side, so. This way? Well, I can't turn back that way. We're just back here again. Yes, yeah, so that's that's this place again. Yeah, what is that one? Okay, so then you go up, and then going down is this way. She climbs the stairs, she notices an enigmatic poster. That was... Is that... Or not? <laughs> is it the other stairs? Is that not the poster that I saw? It's the other one. I'm gonna ruin it if I go back here.
I mean, I definitely went up that way and got that before. We definitely went this way. Uh, I tried to interact with the poster. Last time it just like, it just happened. Like I got it about this one. Yeah, like I went up there <laughs> and it just worked. So like, are these the trigger points? Like the little things on the floor. All right, what are the stairs can we look at? <laughs> Hi, Andy. The only real way to solve puzzles. Yeah, for real. Gotta do the old brute force tech. Also, you should play this. This is cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, that's for the other guy. It's very story driven and it's cool. It's cool, is it not? What the hell? I don't know. It would definitely trigger this one before. The clue says as she climbs the stairs, she notices an en enigmatic poster. And it definitely triggered once here. But it like triggered, but it was red because it was in the wrong order. But then the last one is she remembers higher, there is a door she fears leading to the depths. here wait small small path on top of the map it, uh oh okay wait, wait wait so that's the last clue is that corner okay so we start here is it's just where you find the pages and then you just have to put them in order but like where were they? So that was that was one of them. And then you go find the old man. And then proceed. We go upstairs.
So the third one's in that corner. And the fourth one is here. I don't know at what point it triggers. She goes down but emerges on the other side. Okay, and then... And then it's not the page here? Yeah, it loops. I know I got it, like, when we climbed up. I hope it's not bugs. Wait, so did you mean something else, Toasty? It was like here. But that's not where we found a page though, so that wouldn't really make sense. Where else did we find a page? I can't remember. One was like here. No, not sponsored. We loop again. Yeah, the eyeballs on the purple poster doesn't do anything. Or it didn't before. <laughs> Try to, is, is it actually the purple poster though? Because it definitely didn't work last time. Yeah, like it's not lighting up. Oh, now it did. Yeah, I did that last time. It didn't. It should. Okay, so that should be the solution. Okay, so I guess it just didn't work last time. It was buggy. Because I, I did it like on accident and it like reset. And then I did it intentionally and it would not trigger at all. Oh, yo, playmates. Welcome. I might have found a bug. Woo! <laughs> Play testing. Okay, and then the last one we know is here because the stairs. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, maybe I like went like further from it and it like canceled it out or something. Happy to help. Hey. Oh, basement person. I forgot about them. Basement? Are you still down there? I guess not. Not lost, just buried. Our intuition. Oh, going to the basement. Gloria. Gloria. What? Oh, good. It's my daily dose of happiness. Italy's finest cake. Tiramisu. Should cheer you up. Good. A spoon, small or large. 
What kind of question is that? Give me the big one. <laughs> this glory is so sad. Not now, Bob. We're delving into our minds. Ugh. Is everything all right, Gloria? Yeah, everything's peachy. Well, everything except for your stupid boss. At least you have me. Right again. What would I do without you? She keeps like... She's like losing it when she's trying to swallow the cake. And the tiramisu? It's to your liking? Yeah, yeah, very yummy. I'm feeling better already. You don't look better. Maybe I should have brought something for your stomach. It's okay, I just need a sip of water to help it go down faster. Oh, she vomed. Gloria! Enough, I'll get you some medicine from upstairs. Some clock of weed, too. Fuck. I don't even think it is drugged. Gloria. All right. Was it just like Tums? How do you feel? Hmm. Better, actually. Wait, get her some cantaloupe. <laughs> Way better. This stuff works miracles. Oh god, what? Les Tums in France. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. How about bringing me a box of this stuff? <gasps> just in case. Oh, shit! Sure, I'll get it for you now. She's about to OD on some Tums. I knew the cake was a bad idea. Hmm? Did you say something? We gotta fight her intuition, Gloria. Hold on. Don't OD on Tums just yet. Ah, oh, the stench in here. There. It's revolting. Be the first person to OD on Tums. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, Luca. Why are they letting the trash pile up like this? Does that door lead further down? I can't open it without a key. Let's go find a key. I think one of these cockroaches has had it. Cockroaches? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had too many tums today. Yeah, if we can find basement person, I'd love to save them. Oh, it's a rat! Oh, it looks like parasites did it in. Seems like somebody tried to draw the rat, then erased it. Gross. Ooh, whoa! A woman made of rubber and metal. Wrinkle or rust, everything must eventually return to dust. suffering sink victim of its own hunger or mistreatment by another faded drawing it's hard to decipher it looks like a child or like her I don't know it's a person turned to dust yep so relatable I hear music coming from the other side oh actual music Look, it's it's her and like her old younger and her older self. Portrait of an old woman, her form eroded by time. Portrait of a young girl, freshly etched in stone. Alright, let's see, we got the tiramisu and stuff that we've been eating. I feel so numb. This machine seems to move in rhythm with the music death-inducing flow. This music feels so soothing like nothing else matters. Why would I stop it? No, let's stop it! Oh, won't let me! Ah! Hell yeah. Oh, what have we done? Oh my god! Is 
that a key? In the darkness, the drawing glows. It looks like a woman. Whoa, we just used freaking magical pro pow ugh, powers. Prowlers. <laughs> Stop, Charlie, is how I said it. Magical girl powers. Hell yeah, we got a key though. Thanks, Mrs. Outline, or whoever drew you there. I love magical pullers. Okay, let's try that key. Oh, the falling drawing. There's a bunch of little stuffed animal things. The wall is full of jute fabric puppets. Their flesh is so fragile beneath their wounds. I don't want to go in yet, but like... Oh, swans! That's... Okay, that's cool. What else? I want to talk to things if I can. What's this thing? Hey? Oh, is that basement voice? Oh, hello. Outside voice? She's still love umbrella. Thanks again. Basement voice. It's great to hear from you. Where are you? She don't remember. It hurt her. The cage. Outside voice. Want more nails? I think I'm fine. She like you. I like you too, basement voice. Oh. I've gotta go. I'm looking for something precious down here. Okay, good luck, pretty boys. Aww. It's gonna hurt us or something. Oh, we just actually can't go there. Okay. Alright, let's go back to the swans. Oh, this pretty. Bob? How does it feel, Bob? Big trapped. Got the music right now. Oh, he's not trapped. That's like a, a front desk type thing. I'm surprised to see you here. Princess needs her servant handy. Especially when he's also a personal chef. I'm no princess, Bob. Would you fancy something sweet to eat? I have some delicious cakes, cakes baked just for you. I'm good, but thanks. No, oh, I want a cake. We're trying to find our intuition in the basement, Shank. Just a slice, it won't bite. No thanks. I mean, So there's not... How do I deal with the... The purple floor? No thanks. Oh, there's a door. So I guess just stay away from the spotlights. Oh shit! What was that? So stay in the light is safe. Try, try to run to it. Go away! Like he's hounding me. Oh fuck you. Some memories hurt more than others. <laughs> I wish I could teabag him. 
I want to talk to... We can go through that door, but I also want to see what that body's up to. Now we can't. He's hounding me. Okay, it's not worth it. Let's just go. Yeah, the, the cringe memories. That's what they look like to people. There must be some way to turn the lights on. Looks just like my fuse box back home. I'll bet this this switch turns the lights back on. Turn the power back on? There used to be precipice here, desperately deep. But with the lights on, it's just a room full of children's drawings. Isn't that touching? Yeah, with the lights on, all your problems aren't all that bad. Everything's better with the lights on. Just like if you're scared that your house is haunted, you just turn your lights on and bam, it's suddenly not haunted. A list of all my shows at the Swan, including the ones I never got the chance to do. That's pretty sad. So is that like her looking at her own thing? You're always playing in the dark? That means my house is always haunted. Light drives the ghosts away. It's true. I've seen it. Basement voice? Well, if the lights explode, though, then you're fucked. That's extra haunted. Yeah, lights being on equals maximum safety. <laughs> and then the ghosts flip them up and check for fingerprints. And that's proof, exactly. And sometimes it could be a demon. Basement voice, you still there? Yes, she's still there. No, no, no. Crappy electrician? No, no, no. It's ghost. <laughs> How did you get locked in a cage? Basement voice? Basement voice? It's like the back of a garbage truck. Really? I'll bet it can swallow anything you throw at it. How do I open this thing? Like secret rooms or something? Okay. I'm a spaceman person. It's like big robot lips. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, like Gutsman or something. <laughs> when thunderstorm sapped your power, but one of your lights didn't go out. I turned like Blood Moon Red from Zelda. It really spooked me. <laughs> did it? Did it have like? Cause, I mean, some some places have like emergency backup generators and stuff. I don't know how about it being red though, but that's pretty spooky. Okay, let's go see what Bob's up to. Just one random lamp. That's pretty spooky. Yeah, did Zelda marry? Because it's the only way it's a blood moon. Hey again. Hello, Gloria. You know what? Actually, I think my blood sugar is running low. Give me one of those cakes. I got six donuts today, and her constantly talking about sweets and cakes, I feel like, is a sign. Or not a sign, but it's like an insane coincidence that... Because I don't really have a sweet tooth, like, ever. 
But when I do, it goes hard. So I got six donuts. And like, this bitch is all about her sweets. It's crazy. Coming right up. I have a Saint Honoré of strawberry cake. Tiramisu, maybe? Whichever is the biggest. And a slice won't cut it. Give me the entire cake. Is this... Do we have to throw it in the trash? What kind of donuts? So I asked... It's a, it's a local shop. There's only one of these places. But I went to her and just like, all right, so what kind of... What kind of maples do you have? I I was ready to walk in, walk in and get one donut. But I asked her, like, what, how, how many maples do you have? Like, what kind of maples do you have? And she listed three different types of maples, and I couldn't decide. So I'm like, I'll take one of each. Not bacon. Just it, There were just, like, three different maples. Like, one was a uh, cruller, one was, like, a cake, and one was, like, a classic-style donut. Anyway, so I got one of each, and then she's just like, oh, how many are you getting in total? Just so I know a box to give you. She's like, you want a half a dozen? And I'm like, may as well, if I'm already getting three. And then... Uh, and then I, and then I got two more salt, or two salted caramels with it, and then some chocolate bullshit one that she was talking up. I haven't eaten that one yet. I went full Gloria. I did. So I got six. Do you have maple? Do I? Oh my god, the cruller was so good too. I'm thinking about going back tomorrow and getting more. If you're gonna twist my arm about it, I guess I'll get six. Very good though. Anyway, and a slice won't cut it. Give me the entire cake. Very sweet. Let, I'm gonna eat the chocolate one, the chocolate bullshit one on stream later. We'll do a taste test. It's got like three layers of different types of chocolate. Then for you, I choose the strawberry cake. Here's a spoon. No need. All right, time to throw it in the trash. I didn't even think about, about this. Is, so, is she like calling herself the trash compactor? Oh my God, the Mario never ending stairs. Okay, thank you, Sending. <laughs> Is she considering herself a trash compactor eating all this cake? Or not compactor, whatever. Like, I love glazed donuts. Yeah, I don't really go for like the super fancy cup, uh, donuts all that often. I usually just get a glazed or like maple frosting and that's it. Whoa! Shit. The power went out. Oh my god, it's like a stair puzzle. It wasn't really that part of a puzzle. <laughs> hey, hey, look what I've what we've brought you. Interesting, right? Good girl. But there's been a change in tonight's menu. Whoa! Ugh, they're literally feeding the trash. But like, she's been eating all that trash, so is she like calling herself that? Oh, <gasps> basin voice! Pretty voice? Hi, hello again. What happened? I thought something was wrong. Be careful. Ah! That was so scary. No! Oh! Pretty voice, you are okay? She hears scream. I am, yeah. G good. She feel better. Be safe, please. All right, I'll see if I can find a way to reach you. Yeah, how much of a basement is there? I couldn't give the cake to basement friend. We don't know where she is. Well, we have to. We have to like go in the basement. The monster. The monster since the beginning had a creeper face from the beginning, which also does happen to be Bob. I still have yet to think if any of this is like real real or if like her being kidnapped is a metaphor. What is the game? It's called Decarnation. It's awesome. You should play it. If you like story games, definitely. Or like Center of the Earth voice.
Okay. It's locked. Shit. Guess we find a key. That's why I was checking stuff in the beginning. There's nothing here. Oh, it's our pretty... It's our room. When the blood moon rises once again. I'm so sick of that cutscene too. I don't even hear it all that often. But it's like I see like the, the world turning red. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go put my switch down, walk away for a bit <laughs> while Zelda's monologuing. The blood moon rises. Blue like the sky. Silky like the night. I missed my chance. Now I gotta wait. Oh, God. Ugh. What was that? It's our cringe memories getting us. Oh, it, you can get. Oh, this is gonna be hard. So you can also step on the clouds. Okay, I get it. So, cause the 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 floor is there no matter what. It's just you can't see it without the spotlight. There's obviously a key. Can I not grab it? Shit. Fuck, he's still here. Oh my god, you returned. <laughs> Painful. Probably go to the bottom. Yeah, we could, let's just do the bottom route. Oh, go, go, go. Okay. Let's wait for him to leave. No, you don't create your own character. She looks like me, it's a coincidence. She looks more like Nev Campbell, though. Now they're both up here. <laughs> Go away. I guess we could have just done that. All right, sick. Oh, the dress and her face are gone. Is that basement voice? The speedrun strats. Should have known. Basement voice. Who are there? Basement voice? You reach her. Like said. It's just her. Wh what are you doing here? I really thought I was getting close to finding my intuition down here. Cage. Maybe I can help you get out of here. Leave? 
Yeah, I'll just... She and Cage forever. No leave. No, no, no. Come on, don't say that. It's too sad. <laughs> Be not sad. She happy now. Because pretty voice is friend. Oh, Get the nails, like, in her skin. She's caged and she's nailed to like the ground, I guess. So it's like it's like double uh like analogy or whatever of just being locked up somewhere. You got out of your control. Extra caged. But like, is that supposed to be like a little wedding dress that she has around her? Or does it just happen to look white? Cause it because the dress on the mannequin outside the door is not there anymore. Oh, she does have her umbrella. Yeah, that's true. She can't get rained on. Yeah, I think so. Well, because like the dress was blue. That looks more white, but it could still be the same dress. Because of the lighting. Basement voice. Oh, hugger! She's just cage head. She's stuck. You walk. You strong. I guess. Feels like I've been making the wrong choices lately. You reached cage. Yeah, but I don't see what I'm supposed to find here. She feel thing. And belly. Open, please. I'm gonna open your belly? Uh, okay. <laughs> Take it, please. Is that my intuition? It looks like it's stuck and it's really big. Won't it kill you if I extract it? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's sad. Ugh. Oh, we're intestines. You done it, friend. Is that my intuition? Superpowers? Yes, yeah, this. It's weird, I feel calm. That good. You leave now. No, I need to help you now. To help. For. Forget her. What? You're my friend now. Why would I forget you? If you forget in memory. You free in head, she free from cage. So if you like forget bad things, you're like free from the bad things. This is, this is still a dream state. This, the the old lady version of us who we call Gray Braid says that we have to like find her intuition, and we assume that's gonna like help us escape and all that. Name is Cage Head, Cage Head. Thanks, Cagehead. Nice. <laughs> I'm like Borat. Nice. <laughs> nice to have met you. Hey. The name's Head. Cagehead. Knock, knock. Oh, Bob. What's the cake of the day? Curious girl. <laughs> I'm preparing a black forest cake with extra cream for our gourmet princess. But in the meantime, another present. What a nice little bag. Is it for me? What do you think? Oh, bag says Cartier, is it? Compliments of the house. Is that a padlock? <laughs> what is, or a purse? <laughs> oh, wow. It's beautiful. I don't even know what it is. It's a necklace, thank you. It just looks like a pad a golden padlock. <laughs> Here, so it you can be captive in style. Princess has to have a golden necklace. No one has ever given me jewelry. That's I feel like a little girl. You deserve it. Thank you, Bob. Thanks a million. Uh is this a bell on the necklace? 
get ad free Twitch a new thing? Twitch Turbo? No, it's it's uh it's it's been a while, it's just they kinda keep it hidden. But now they charge more money from it. So they're advertising it more. Thanks for stockholding me. There must be a mistake. There's a bell attached. No, she's she's realizing there's a bell attached. Original, right? I can't wear a necklace with a bell on it, Bob. I'm not a pet. The bell is what makes the piece so unique. It's a very fancy necklace. The master is very generous. But Bob, remember when you told me about your dream about hope? Uh, as long as I'm breathing, there is hope. In your own words, hope means breathing. And breathing means moving. Now every time you'll move, you'll hear this little bell jingle. And that's the sound of hope. Bob, are you stupid? Come here. The sound of hope, you said. Exactly. Can't see answer stream with ad block on? Oh, I don't know. I ad block shouldn't prevent you from seeing it. It's not stupid, it's all according to plan. I'm thinking Bob is actually stupid. That's my new. He's had. Master's probably not, but his Bob persona is really dumb. In solid gold. Gray braid? I found my tuition. Now, intuition. Now what? Are you there? Also prevents you from smoking bears. I need your help. Hello, how are things going? I think I found what I was looking for, deep down. That's great, and how does that feel? I don't know. You told me it would get better, but... Everything's still an, uh, an ocean of shit. And guess who's still drowning in the middle of it? Gloria. You wanted me to find a compass, but what I need is a lifeline. Intuition works in mysterious ways. You need to give it more time, more trust. I don't have time and I only trust what I can see. Maybe that's the problem. Close your eyes. This spiel again? Mm. Okay, I'll relax, what now? <laughs> Don't try to force it. Just let your intuition guide you. Keep going. Oh! I don't know if we have to keep them all like lit up or whatever, but I'm gonna. Did that work? You can guide yourself now. I don't know what that means. What did I? Wow. The Haven, it's changing? You're changing, Gloria. What you see is your hope and intuition in action. Okay, look, if anyone's ever in a captive situation, I would not bank on your hope and intuition getting you out of there. Just fucking use anything else. <laughs> Don't just sit there and hope you get out. This is big progress for you, but there's really no telling what you'll find down there. Stay alert. Kid! I thought I'd lost you. I'm so sorry, kid. Forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh god, her voice again. Here you go. Hope, intuition, a handmade show. Oh, hello, Glow Glow. Kid, I'm so sorry. 
It's good to see you. Me too, kid. Me too. Want to play hopscotch? I found some chalk down here. I would love that. I'll wait while you stretch. You know, I think I'm ready to play now. <laughs> Whoa! Kid! No! <laughs> we lost her again! <laughs> Gray beard, I failed. Gloria, what happened? Did you not see? Oh shit, we're gonna go back and save her. Gloria! Ew! Do you see that? Now where'd she get off to? She's holding like a mini bob. Where are you, kid? Oh, vermin, come for the crumbs of my dessert, no doubt. The hell are you? And it's talking to me, the princess? That's not allowed in this castle. Is this like the glutton she sees herself from like all that cake? And like, that's why she's like bobs huddling to her. <laughs> Groly is true for ya. Castle? Never mind. Where's the kid? Eek, whatever does it want. The little girl, tell me where she is now. Why won't it leave me alone? I won't just desert her. Did did it say dessert? Uh what you have food everywhere. What do you want? Look at the walls like moving. A princess always has room for more dessert. No or, oh shit. Pause off, vermin. You won't be so brave once I show you how the sausage is made. <gasps> oh, shit. Quick, take her fork. Oh, the music. Whoa. Yo, superpowers. Cassette tape. Cassette tape, please show yourself again. No, oh, I missed it. Oh my god, my eye itches. Sorry. Oh gosh. It's like, hold on, boss fight. My eye itches. Disappeared so fast last time. I'm melting. I'm dead. It disappeared so fast last time, so I was like thinking about just rushing to it. That's so mean that the food was piling on the cassette tape that much. Like, there's no chance for me to get it there. Oh shit, what was- oh fuck, I- Damn it. I wasn't looking at the top one. Wow, wow, wow. My cassette tape. Fail that time. Stop this at once! Such tasteless behavior, don't you see? This is the only way. So much time marinating in this boudoir. Until finally we become what we've always dreamed of. The most magnificent monarch the world has ever seen. Yeah. She's really fast. Look at her shoveling that down. Oh my god! <laughs> 
No, oh, why? This was our recipe for success, Gloria. And you tore it to pieces. <laughs> hey, she's okay, kid. <laughs> You're alive. Uh, what happened? Classic dumbass kid. <laughs> Turning into a TLC show. <laughs> it's all right. You're safe now. I've got you. We saved her. Oh, it's a, a letter and a cake. That was a that was a really cool fight, uh, visually and like uh, narratively. <laughs> God, it's such a bummer seeing just her be this fucked up. I can you use the toilet? Nice. Ah, uh, breakfast. And there's a note. The master needs me elsewhere. I hope this delicious pavlova will tide you over until supper. Yours, Bob. Pavlova. That definitely- that's moving. Wash my hands. No, I'm gonna poop and then eat the pavlova <laughs> and brush my teeth, but not my hands. Brush my hands. <laughs> Flush that necklace down the toilet. With the pavlova. Ooh, that'll teach him. Got this again. Okay, wait, I'm, see, I, I'm sorry, it's already a bit late. I just want to see if it would move at all if I didn't move. The master did what now? Wow, is he just watching me do yoga? Hey. Wow, this place looks like new. It does? How was the, oh, you haven't even touched it. Can't you see I'm busy, Bob? I don't have time for your pavlova! Starving yourself won't make you feel any better. I'm feeling better than I have in a while, actually. Oh, really? Can't believe fasting the new fad down here. I'll have to get you a fresh pavlova tomorrow. This one will be goop by then. Don't bother, I'm over it. Make no mistake, I'm done with cake. Because we fought the cake boss and now we don't want to do that no more. What? Why? It just feels... Feeds... The wrong part of me. And your necklace? You, you're not wearing it? I took it off. I figure I don't need a chain to go with these bars. But what about the sound of hope? The bell makes it sing, right? The bell drowns it out. The fancy dress, the fine food, the luxury gifts. A pretty varnish over a pile of trash. What? It's not like that at all. Bob, I'm not a guest, let alone a princess. So take all this stuff back to your master. His prisoner doesn't need them anymore. She's waking up! I mean, it's sad, but... Gloria, no, it's not like that. Yeah, that makes so much sense then, because, yeah, like, the boss you fought is, like, is a princess who eats cake all the time, which is how she was being treated, but she's, in fact, not a princess, so, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Gloria, no, it's not like that. Everything the master does, he does for your own good. You're a sweet man, Bob. Your only mistake is trusting that monster you call master. It'd be easy to hate you for that, just like I hate him and this place. 
but feeding insatiable hunger is worse than starving. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure I do. Bob! But I'm fine. Life hasn't been all bad, I guess. There have been a few bright spots. Like what? Well, like your arrival at the mansion. We're in a mansion? <laughs> Great, my kidnapping is a high point. There have been other things. Like, like, I get to read to children sometimes. This man should not be anywhere near children. You do? True, I volunteer at a local school when the master gives me time off. Oh God, this guy? The children are so attentive and thoughtful and they don't judge others at all. That's how we all should be. You don't want to get judged, but you're doing this shit? Yeah, Bob should be the one in the cell. I can't say I've had the best luck with kids, or with adults for that matter. But you must want a family someday. Hard to say from behind these bars. He clearly has never actually met a child. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> what about you? Well, it's... I need a miracle. You know, I need to become rich, or strong, or good-looking, ideally, all three at once. But no, I'm just a boring butler who knows too many cake recipes. That's not how I see you. Not only are you a great cook, but you're smart and sensitive, not to mention putting up with an awful boss. Don't pep him up. Plus, you volunteer your free time to help kids. You've got nothing holding you back. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're locked in a cell. Do you really think so? That I'm a good person? There is another life waiting for you, Bob, if you want it badly enough. Gloria, that's all I've ever wanted. Let's let hope be the wind in your sails. And intuition the compass that guides you. No, oh, he's like hugging her from the bar. No, this relationship makes me sick. Oh, I'm going to throw up. I hope she's playing him too, but it's hard to tell. What's this? So she cleaned it further. Oh, look at her. She got a note. Is that a love letter from Bob? <gasps> uh, what if it's like a note from Masters? Like you are not to see Bob anymore. There's a letter. It's pink, so it must be a love letter. You can't confine a princess to the dungeon of her castle. A man would gladly be her knight. Served him as such a hassle. If she considers carefully, does not become a nerve. She may yet find the key to what they both deserve. Did Bob write this piece of shit? Is this a test? I don't I don't know you guys. This is weird. We just have a key. Bob? This is definitely a test. Let's I'm just trying to find a weapon. Here, the broom. Take the broom as a weapon and get the fuck out. The camera's not moving. Or a trap. Oh! Just take the broom! It... Wait, did Bob do this? It opened. Quick, t take, take the broom. It's our only weapon. We should have been shiving that down. To make like a spiky end of the, you know, the handle. We should have been doing that this whole time. Off camera, obviously. Oh! <gasps> This better not be a dream. Did Bob steal the key from the master? Maybe this whole thing was a game show. <laughs> Hope it's the kind with a cash prize.
I don't think the key's sharp enough for a ship. This just looks like a regular basement. This is like a house. Whoa! Where are we? Bob? Bob? My lady. What is all this? Welcome to my domain. Where is the master? The mansion. At first. First I thought it was the only way. But then I got to know you. We learned to trust each other. So he is the master and he knew it. Okay. It wasn't a split. Well, we don't have the whole info. Like, yeah, because there's the master mask in it. We already knew he was going to be the same person. We just wasn't sure, like, how. Like, they didn't make it clear how. So he knew the whole time and it was a test. Okay. We learned to trust each other. And you opened my eyes. Did we just make him a better person? Bob, this is no time for games. The master could arrive any second now. Right? Right? There is no master, Gloria. I made it all up. I had to. You know that. Why? <laughs> Ever since I met you, it's always been you. The museum? You taking my measurements? September 1980, almost 10 years ago. It was your first night at the Swan, mine too. You were so beautiful yet so sad and lonely. Sad and lonely? Because I felt exactly the same. I wish I had the guts to talk to you after the show. Oh my god, this is like Maxim Turbo Incel's stalker. This is so... For for that long, yeah, a decade, just because he saw her once at the show. How old is this guy? Oh, he's not letting us go. He locked the door and jump out the window. So we were just like in his basement the whole time. Oh my god. I wish I had the guts to talk to you after the show. I kept coming back year after year. I hope that one day I'd find a way to help you. And then one day I finally did. You can relax now. Look at her face. <laughs> it's like blue. It will be all right. Are you going to... Kill me? Gloria. Have I ever hurt you? I... I'll keep taking care of you. Of course, you still won't be allowed to leave, but... You'll have the run of the house along with me. This guy is nuts! I've already prepared a room for you upstairs. Until you feel comfortable enough to move to my room someday. Ah, so gross! Susie, it's gross! <laughs> uh, you came out of like, a, like the, the twist or the... The, the ending. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> but it's been a very nice thrill ride so far. Not nice, but like, good. Well, well done. I don't want to rush things. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh god, let's escape. Elbow- Ew, was he, like, nuzzling? Don't go back down there. He's doing that, like, the hand thing. It's making me uncomfortable. So what do you say, my lady? This is why we should have taken the broom and stabbed him. Ready for a brand new chapter with the real Bob? I'd rather die. What? Don't... Act 5, the Phoenix. <laughs> I mean, that's quite the power move, but I feel like you could have escaped. 